Namaste and good evening. Namaste and good evening to you all. Honorable Chief Guest, Minister for Social Development, Province Number Five, Honorable Sudarshan Baral, respected authorities of LBU, the venerable monks, Lama Gurus, nuns, the scholars within and outside the country, and dear students. Today is the special day for our country. We are observing 8th National Science Day today. This day is observed in the commemoration of establishment of Amrit Science Campus, Oskal, widely known in our country. This is the first academic attempt in the field of inception and development in science and technology in our country. So Lumbini Buddhist University, though established with the mission of propagating teachings of Buddha, through teaching and research in Buddhist philosophy, literature, and many other allied subjects. Many academicians and scientists have seen its many instances of compatibilities and affinities with the modern science too. So in this context, the university, Lumbini Buddhist University has realized that our discussion sessions need to be organized among scholars to talk in this issue now. The present webinar is a small attempt in this direction. So we are very happy that accepting our invitation, scholars and academicians have been participating in our program and the number is increasing very quickly. So now I want to recognize the participation of distinguished guests of our program. We are highly privileged to have Honorable Province Minister as our chief guest for today's webinar. I would like to welcome the Minister for Social Development from province number five, Mr. Sudarshan Baral in this webinar. As I have heard, as I'm informed that he'll be joining by uh, 3.15. Similarly, we are highly tossed with the presence of honorary distinguished visiting professor from Lumbini Buddhist University professor, Dr. Kwak Young Hoon from South Korea, who is also a renowned planner for Biso Santi Nagrama. We would like to pay our special regard to you, professor. So as a Buddhist university, we have tra tradition of beginning any program with observing Panchasila. For this, I would humbly request Venerable Professor, Dr. Sankitsa Mahasthabir for giving us Panchasila. I request all participants of this webinar to venerate with joining hands and recite those silas if you have respect over them. But keep your mic mute and put your video live. Venerable, I kindly request you to give us Panchasila Venerable Professor Dr. Sankitsa Mahasthabira. He might have joined this webinar. Yeah. Thank okay. You very much. Yes, Thank very much. Yeah. yeah. To, to observe the five precepts, please follow me or repeat the Pali texts, uh, which I say. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa 
बुद्धं शरणं गच्छामि बुद्धं शरणं शरणं गच्छामि ृथ्यंगी ृथ्यंगी ृथ्यंगीरमणिशिखापदिया ृथ्यंगी ृथ्यंगी थैंक यू वेनरेबल संकित समीर हे हेज बीन टीचिंग एंड हिज इन्वल्व इन डिफरेंट रिसोर्स एक्टिविटीज इन लुमिनी बुद्धिस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी फ्यू इयर्स Thank you, Venerable, for giving us Panchasri. Ah, uh, some special names. Okay, I should recall here and need to pay respect to them who have accepted our invitation in this forum. So I have seen here Honorable Sanu Kumar Sreesta, who is the Speaker of Province Number Three, Bagmati Province of Nepal. Similarly, Vice Chancellor of Lumbini Buddhist University. Professor Dr. Riday Ratna Bajracharya is here. Similarly, Registrar of Lumbini Buddhist University, Dr. Tilak Ramacharya is also here. Venerable Metya Sakup Sakhe Putta, who is Vice Chairperson for Lumbini Development Trust. Similarly, Dr. Babu Ram Adhikari, who is Deputy Secretary General for United Nations Economic and Social Council, representative from Nepal, is also here. You all are present here to make this program. to make this program a significant one so similarly on behalf of organizer of this program i would like to thank honorable krishna prasad neupani who is parliament member for, from province number 5 mr pema wangchuk lama who is dean of academic affairs 
of Royal University of Bhutan, Venerable Dungse Lama Pema, who is Executive Director from Thangyu Monastery, Canada. Mr. Ganin Rai, Acting General Secretary from Lumini Development Trust. Educationist of Nepal, Mr. Vidyanath Koirala. Dr. Arvind Singh, who is the uh, professor from Gautam Buddha University, a school of Buddhist studies and civilization. So, uh, so academic coordinator uh, from Kachua campus, it is uh, University of Jammu, Jammu, India, and Professor Dandapani Adhikari, uh, who is a professor from Department of Geology from Trichandra Multiple Campus. And I highly appreciate and welcome LBO of Trutis, Dean of Faculty of Buddhist Studies, Dr. Manik Rupasakya, Dean of Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Dr. Beth Prasad Giri, Dean of School of Development Studies and Applied Sciences, Mr. Ukisraj Buzu, who is also a speaker for today's program. And similarly, Chairperson of Research Center of LBU, Professor Dr. Gitu Giri, Professor Basanta Bidari, and L Institutional Campus Chief of Central Campus of LBU, Mr. Indra Thakre. We would like to pay a special uh, a regard to you for your presence in today's program. So I, I would like to highlight some basic uh, activities what we have been offering you in this webinar today. Uh, so we have already observed five precepts. And then uh, after this, we'll be having a welcome address and program highlight by Professor Dr. Ridhir Nabajaracharya, who is Vice Chancellor of Lumini Buddhist University. After his speech, we'll have a message from Honorable Education, Science and Technology Minister, Mr. Giriraj Mani Pokhrel, and he has provided his uh, good wishes for this program. So I will attempt to read out his wishes here. And after this, then we'll be having a speech by chief guest of today's webinar, Honorable Minister of Social Development from province number five, Honorable Minister, Mr. Sudarshan Baral. Then after his speech, we'll be, we will enter into the main thrust of the program, that is the speaker's uh, session. And we'll be having four speakers today and they will present on their very important issues uh, today. And after them, after their speech, then we'll have the question and answer sessions and participants of this webinar who will be having any queries and questions. So they may send their questions through chat box or they may raise their hand and they may ask their questions physically as well. So after those question and answer session, then we will be having uh, some remarks, speech uh, from few of our guests. And then especially today, uh, we have a Professor Kwak Young Hyun, who is honorary visiting professor for Lumini Buddhist University, and he's worldly renowned planner of the different cities in the world, and he's a planner of Lumini World Peace Nagrama, Lumini Bisso Santi Nagrama. And then uh, we'll have closing remarks from our uh, registrar, Dr. Tilak Ramachar, and then we will close our program today. This is the uh, very short outline of today's program. So after this, without being a bit delayed, I would like to enter into the basic uh, basic program. Abama Azako is Karikram Jo Azako Same Martin, the Sandavi Karikram Regusa. Lumini Bhav the Visabi Dali with the Dharma Dasan Saitya Kala Saskritima Samarpit Visabi Dali with the Happy Azako Samay, the Bigyan Ka Yugo, Bigyan Sanga Samman, the Dere Kuraru Bhagwan Buddha Yakra, Six Harma Disako Vaikusa, the TBC was to Kotali Azami Prayas Gurahega Sora, Yukarikra Malitali Rahegus. Eskolagi, Hamimaz, Lumini Bhav the Visabi Dalika, Adari Upokulapati, Pradipa Dr. Ridhi Ratna Bazarat Arizununsa, Rawali Azako Yis. Bisay Jun Lumini Bhav the Bisabi Dali Kindri Campus, Lipaski Rahegusa, Su Bisay, Laya Uzagar Garnunisa, Raya Upasit, Sampura, Bahanu Bagar Lai, Paliswagat Garnunisa, Ra Ayuka Bisabas to Bari Prakas Parnunisa. My Skulagi, Lumini Bhav the Bisabi Dalika, 
आदरणीय उप कुलपति प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर हृदय रत्न बजरचार्य जी हार्दिक अनुरोध कर सर प्लीज गो है नमस्ते नमो बुद्धाय नमो धर्माय नमो संघाय नमो रत्नत्रेय धे खुशी लगे लुमिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय को तरफ बा आज को इस वेबिनार बौद्ध दर्शन रिज्ञान संबंधी वेबिनार में स्वागत कर पाँगा धीरे खुशी लगे पर्टिकुलरली आई एम सो हैप्पी टू वेलकम थर्टी कलिग्स professor park i uh, i'm so happy uh, to see you here again and i'm also happy that so many uh, international dignitaries are participating in this seminar uh, from lumini buddhist university we welcome you all to this webinar uh, science as we all know has brought us to this level which is kind of unthinkable even 30 or 40 years ago we are gather here from all over the world from canada from bhutan from india from thailand from so many other countries so this is a great achievement of science and the technology which is a kind of uh, which is a kind of uh, development which we can feel which we can live which we can Uh, put in our memory and also plan for for the development so this is the this is the place where we have come in course of our development yo ta euta hamro vikas ko pahal bhayo tara at the same time bhagwan buddha bata jun darshan bhagwan buddha ko shiksha bhagwan buddha ko vachan bhagwan buddha le dinu bhaka budesh haru आधार यो बौद्ध दर्शन साहित्य पद्धति जो महत्व अस कर आज को दिन में इन टू डेज वर्ल्ड इट्स सो इंपोर्टेंट धे महत्वपूर्ण क्यों देखिए अभी हमी कोविड उन्नाइस को धे ठूल प्रकोप को बीच में छी यो कोविड उन्नाइस को प्रकोप के कारण विश्व नई आक्रांत भर प्राय सब कुछ एक किसिम ने थप्प पारे अवस्था थी इस कारण क्वेश्चन उठाने पड़े अवस्था हम विस डेवलपमेंट हम क्या जो हम विस के हो हमी मं मानस मानस भर बाच्ने हम विज्ञान और प्रविधि यहांसम लियाईपुगे तो बाटो में मत दोहर हिड़े अगड़ी ज्यादा खेल पूछ ही पूर्देन भाई प्रश्न हम बीच में खड़ा बस सो वी आर एट ए वेरी गुड जंक्सर अफ दी इंटरने दी वर्ल्ड डेवलपमेंट द डेवलपमेंट अफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज best way to move ahead for human kind in this world ani esai ko sandarbh ma aaja hami le char wata bishay vastu haru lai lumini bodh vishwavidyalay ko agraha ma bishishta vidwan haru sanga agraha garera yo vigyan ra tespachi bodh darshan yo dui wata ko इस प्राथमिकता हमी अगड़ी जाना खेल कसरी ज्यादा खेल बेस होने प्रज्ञा यह प्रश्न भी हो रहा साथ बुद्ध ने दिया दर्शन का कुछ हम जीवन का आवश्यकता रो विस में जैसे विस का आवश्यकता समेत समेत जान का लगी मार्ग निर्दिष्ट करना महत्वपूर्ण विषय यो खास करना हम लुमिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय को एटा चाहना भी हो कि लुमिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय बुद्ध को दर्शन बुद्ध को शिक्षा और बुद्ध ने दूंभ पद्धति आज भाग पच्चीस से छब्बीस सौ वर्ष अगड़ी कुछ हो ये बेला को सज ते बेला को 
समाज को परिपाटी अर्थ सब कुछ जीवन यापन करने जो पद्धति आज भाग धीरे नहीं फरक हो हमें भर एवं के पाँच भाई कोर चीज हु जो कि नभई नौनी तो बेला जी महत्वपूर्ण छोड़ तक महत्वपूर्ण बुद्धली हमी अगि त्रिशरण गमन में हमी एक प्रविष्ट ग्यौं त्रिशरण गमन में हमी बुद्ध धर्म रंग को स्मरण ग्यौं हमी आबद्ध होने कुछ शरणागत भुद्ध बने को के होता बुद्ध जन्मे हो बुद्ध बने को बुद्ध परिपाटी हो बुद्ध एवं चाहिए बेला को परिपाटी नहीं हो बुद्ध इसलिए भाक्यमुनि बुद्ध पचिल बुद्ध हो हमें धे साक्यमुनि बुद्ध को शिक्षा लाई लगी बढ़ी रखे अवस्था साक्य मुनि बुद्ध भाग अगड़ी बुद्ध हु थे रेस को बड़ा इंट्रेस्टिंग आस्पेक्ट बने लुंबिनी क्षेत्रम क्रकुछंड बुद्ध र कनक मुनि बुद्ध को ऐतिहासिकता झलकाने अशोक स्तंभ पड़ी भाई चैत्य काठमंड उपत्य में यहाँ सात बुद्ध को यहाँ आवगमन भाई भाई हम मिले मत जन समुदाय को एकताबद्ध प्रयत्न मत यहां महामारी रहासंकट को सधान संभव छखा इस अर्थ में गौतम बुद्ध का बाणी वहाँ का दर्शन वहाँ का विषय मानव जाति एक्सौ शताब्दी को युग में उत्तिक महत्व का साथ पथ प्रदर्शन कर आगामी दिन में भाई मैं विश्वास लिखे रही सन्दर्भ में आज आठौ राष्ट्रीय विज्ञान दिवस विज्ञान प्रविधि को हिसाब से सब भाग पछाड़ी पड़े मूलुक सूची में अग्रस्थान में रहने स्तर में छो स्थिति अंत्य करना का हमें धर मेहनत करूर्ने योजना को तह में नीति निर्माण को तह में खोज अनुसंधान बजेट कार्यक्रम को तह में तेस कुछ समेत झकझकने करी जो विश्वविद्यालय को तर्फ केन्द्रीय कैंपस जो इनिशिएसन फिर एक पटक बुद्धिज्म साइंस नया हाइट में जोड़ने हिसाब से जो सुरुआत इसलिए हमी सब यहाँ का योजना निर्माणकर्ता नीति निर्माता सब झकझकने यहाँ प्रस्तुत होने जो विभिन्न चाह कार्यपत्र मैं देखी रहे ती कार्यपत्र हमी हम प्रदेश धर महत्वपूर्ण खजाना प्राप्त होने र स्वाभाविक रूप में यूनिवर्सिटी को हैसियत ने इसलिए सींगो देश को रंतराष्ट्रीय क्षेत्र में समेत नया योगदान करने भपेक्षा सहित कार्यक्रम में सहभागी भर मंतव्य समेत व्यक्त करने अवसर प्रदान कर विश्वविद्यालय इसको केन्द्रीय कैंपस इसका पदाधिकारी जीवर सब धन्यवाद सहित पुनः कार्यक्रम को भव्य सफलता को शुभकामना व्यक्त करते मेरे बनाई अंत करद धन्यवाद धर धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद माननीय मंत्रीजी यहाँ को निके सागर्भिक निके सन्देशपूर्ण वक्तव्य हमी उत्साही बनाए रसरी लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय प्रदेश सरकार का बीच का सहकारी का कुछ जिसरी यहाँ भो रगामी दिन में सहकार्य करते जाने जो प्रतिबद्धता सहित को हमी जो प्रकार को यहाँ सन्देश प्राप्त भो तेस को लगी धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद अर्पण करना चाहूँ मज कार्यक्रम को आयोजक को तरफ बा सो नाउ इट इज द मोस्ट अवेट टाइम द टाइम फॉर आवर प्रेजेंटर्स टू प्रेजेंट देयर आइडियाज इन रेस्पेक्टिव टॉपिक्स द फर्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन टुडे विल बी ऑन बुद्धिज्म हेयर रिलीजन मिट्स साइंस दैट इज how buddhism in general is compatible to the modern science so the paper will be presented by dr surendra man bajracharya the second presentation will be on understanding abhidhamma from modern science and vice versa that is impact of abhidhamma on modern modern psychology and the 
vice versa. And that paper will be uh, presented by our venerable a monk and he's Pini Lankira Dira. And then the third paper will be, the, per, the third presentation will be on the Buddhist perspective on sustainable development, living together with nature. That is what Buddhism teaches us in preserving our vegetation and nature. And that paper will be presented by Mr. Ukis Raj Buzo, who is the acting dean for Lumini Buddhist University. And the final paper will be on the traditional Buddhist health system, that is Sovarikpa perspective on mental health. So now I would like to open this forum for our paper presenters, our speakers. And this is the most awaited time for, we are so eager, our participants are so eager to hear from them. This is the main thrust of our program. So I would like to request uh, Dr. Surindraman Bajracharya, who, had, who is from the background of Buddhist studies as well as from the science. And he has been teaching in Tribhuvan University on the depart, in the department of Buddhist studies uh, since uh, 10, 15 years. So he's as an emerging scholar for our country in Buddhist studies. So now I would like to request Mr. Bajracharya to present his ideas in this webinar. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhupada, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the management of Central Campus uh, to uh, Lumini Buddhist University for inviting me to share my views regarding Buddhism and science. Here today, I would uh, take advantage of speaking in uh, Nepali. Uh, for uh, English readers, I have prepared my presentation in PowerPoint form. And uh, you can also have my full text from the management committee. So I, I'm going to I'm going to share my presentation uh, in PowerPoint form. Okay. So I like Namaskre, Namaskar sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Namaste to you all. Uh, my subject here today is Buddhism where religion meets science. Jaha Buddha Buddha Dharma jaha Dharma ra began ko sangam cha. Yeh bhi se ho. Main aagi parkhari banhe. Main Nepali ma gana gaya tha. Kiti is sathi aur Nepali chhan. Ra bideshi aur ko lagi maile Angreji ma maile तैयार गरे कुछ पावर पॉइंट में तीन चार आठ तीसरी बात याद रखिए ताकि सब इले ये लाज जानना सब कुछ बंदे हो ऐसा उसमें जाऊँ डिस्प्ले में पूरा फुल डिस्प्ले में गए रहा सुमु लाइट ठीक है ना अब बुद्धिज्म को कुरा कर दाखिली ये लाइज चाहिए रिलिजन बनने की ना बनने बनने में अली विवार होने सकता हमी रिलिजन बने � कसे कसे ले यो रिलिजन हुआ है ना यो दर्शन हो बंचन मैंने कसे ले वो ऑफ लाइफ बंचा है ना तो ना धेरी ले चीने वो ये रिलिजन बने ये चीने आय रहा कुछ तो ना सब भाई रिलिजन ले यहाँ का संसारिक बस्तों रे क्या हों ये जगत क्या हो तो ना यहाँ का बस्तों रे क्या हों पन्ने में तेज़ वचन सुराक्� the science and the theory, they knew you for a piece in going to dance are the man who is like as if they were two different for the science and you religion sir you think your views classes and this seems this this seems like opposite walls but you think by that was a really think top of that only Buddhism legend for a very lab what's a philosophically क्यों तो साइंस संग मिलने मिलने गए थे सन पर यो कुरा हमी पढ़ने माफ मॉल लगाए सब ये था भाई वो कुरा उन्हें सच्चा तो इसलिए यो चाहिए बुद्धिज्म को कुरा लाइल दिन आखिर ही बुद्धिज्म साइंस संग तेरे मिल खान सा पर यो रा पनाई के साथ वाले के बुद्धिज्म माँ बुद्धले मेटाफिजिकल कुरा आरो लाई निरुसाइट पा� तो क्या हर समय वो तेज़ तो पन्नू भाई को तब कौन हर समय बताएगी नहीं 
त्यो प्रेजेन्ट कन्टेक्स्ट को कुरा हो कसरी सफरिङ लाई मिनिमाइज गर्ने दुखो बाट कसरी मुक्त हुने भन्ने कुरामा वाले त्यो भन्नु भएको हो नत्र भए देखि बुद्धिज्म ले पनि मेटाफिजिकल क्वेशन को आन्सर दिने गर्छ जस्तै हामी किन यहाँ छौ र हामी चाहिँ पछि के हुने छौ त्यसको बारेमा बुद्धिज्म ले राम्रोसँग व्याख्या गर्छ त्यसैले यो चाहिँ मेटाफिजिकल क्वेशनहरुलाई बुद्धिज्म मा स्थान छैन भन्ने चाहिँ त्यस्तो भएन मेटाफिजिकल कुरा मेटाफिजिक्स भनेको जहाँ पनि लागू हुन्छ फिजिक्स आउनु भन्दा पहिला मेटाफिजिक्स नै आउने गर्छ र जब मेटाफिजिकल कुराहरु प्रूफ भएर जान्छ त्यो फिजिक्स हुन जान्छ त्यो भनेको साइन्स हो है त्यसैले चाहिँ नि मेटाफिजिक्स भन्नु र यो साइन्स भन्नुमा प्रूफ भएको र प्रूफ नभएको कुरालाई हामी मध्यनजरमा राख्न सक्छौ प्रूफ नभएसम्म मेटाफिजिकल भएर रहन्छ भने प्रूफ भइसकेपछि त फिजिक्सको रूपमा आउँछ र बुद्धिज्ममा धेरै जसो यो बुद्धिज्मका मान्यताहरु लजिक्समा आधारित हुने भएकोले यो चाहिँ नि साइन्टिफिक हुन गइरहेको हो साइन्टिफिक छ कि टु बी मोर लजिक मिन्स टु बी साइन्टिफिक इन अदर वे है यो चाहिँ भन्न सकिन्छ अनि अर्को अब यहाँ चाहिँ के छ भने कि सबै बुद्ध धर्मले गर्ने के गरिरहेको छ र साइन्सले के गरिरहेको छ एउटा अलिकति यहाँ चाहिँ थाहा पाउन जरुरी छ बुद्धिज्मले गरिरहेको पनि इन्भेस्टिगेसन अफ धर्म हो र साइन्सले गरिरहेको पनि इन्भेस्टिगेसन अफ धर्म धर्मकै अन्वेषण हो तर यो चाहिँ धर्मलाई कसरी परिभाषा गर्ने भन्नेमा अलिकति फरक छ बुद्धिज्म अनुसार यो धर्म क्यान बी बोथ मेन्टल अर फिजिकल भन्ने कुरा हुन्छ भने साइन्सले ओन्ली फिजिकल कुरालाई रिकग्नाइज गरेको छ धर्म भनेर धर्म भन्दैन त्यहाँ त्यहाँ चाहिँ नि अब्जेक्ट भन्छ र जान्न चाहेको दुबईले अब्जेक्टलाई नै जान्न चाहेको हो साइन्सले पनि अब्जेक्टलाई नै राम्रोसँग जान्न चाहेको हो बुद्धिज्मले पनि अब्जेक्टलाई नै राम्रोसँग जान्न चाहेको हो तर मोटिभ चाहिँ फरक छ बुद्धिज्मले जान्न चाहेको चाहिँ त्यो अब्जेक्टलाई चिनिसकेपछि त्यसको उपयोग गरेर चाहिँ आफू यो चाहिँ दुःख मुक्त हुने अवस्थामा पुग्ने हो भने साइन्सले त्यसलाई मेक्सिमम उपयोग गर्ने र त्यो पनि सुविधाहरू बनाउनेमा केन्द्रित गरेको हुन्छ नत्र भएदेखि दुबईको चाहिँ मोटिभ अरू कुरामा समान छ भने मतलब इन्भेस्टिगेसन गर्ने धर्मको इन्भेस्टिगेसन गर्ने बुद्धले धर्म बन्छ त्यही कुरालाई साइन्सले अब्जेक्ट बन्छ यो कुरा त भयो त्यसैले यो साइन्समा हेऱ्यो भने अब्जेक्टलाई चिन्ने प्रसङ्गमा धेरै किसिमको चाहिँ त्यहाँ वर्गीकरण भए त्यसलाई चाहिँ यो अटो के भन्छ हाम्रो चाहिँ यो पछि आउँछ एकछिनमा यो पहिला चाहिँ बुद्धिज्मको कुरा गरौँ बुद्धिज्मले धर्मलाई चिन्ने काम गर्दाखेरि धर्मलाई चिन्ने भन्दाखेरि अब्जेक्टलाई चिन्ने काम गर्दाखेरि सर्वाष्ट्रवाद भन्ने एउटा चाहिँ निका छ धर्मलाई पचहत्तरवटा विभाजन गरेर देखायो यो पचहत्तरवटा यस्ता यस्ता छन् भनेर त्यहाँ चाहिँ व्याख्या हुन्छ भने सौटाटिक दर्शन आइसकेपछि सौटाटिक दर्शनले ती धर्महरूलाई ती अब्जेक्टहरूलाई फोर्टी थ्री टाइप्समा वर्गीकरण गरे थेरवादले पनि आफ्नै किसिमले गरे मेट्रोलाई थेरवादहरूले अट्ठाइस किसिमकोमा विभाजन गरे भने एक सय एक्काइसवटा मेन्टल टाइपका धर्महरू छन् मेन्टल अब्जेक्ट छन् भन्छन् त्यस्तै विज्ञानवादले से प्रकारका धर्महरू छन् पनि भन्छ साथ साथै यिनी सबै माइन्डको प्रोजेक्सन मात्रै हो वास्तविक होइन पनि भन्छ त्यस्तै किसिमले साइन्सले पनि त्यस्तै गरेको छ सुरुमा आउँदा कि साइन्सले पनि अट्ठाइस प्रकारका अब्जेक्टहरू त्यसलाई इलेभेन्टहरूलाई चिनेर वर्गीकरण गरे पछिबाट चाहिँ यही कुरा पेरोडिक टेबलमा मेन्डलिफ भन्नेले राखे चौरानब्बे किसिमको अब्जेक्टहरू इलेभेन्टहरूलाई वर्गीकरण गरेर राखे अब मोडर्न पेरियोडिक टेबल भनेर एक सय अठारवटा इलेभेन्टहरूलाई चिनेर वर्गीकरण गरेको छ त्यसलाई जान्ने काम भएको छ त्यसैले द्वितीयले बोथ बुद्धिज्म एन्ड साइन्स ह्याव एनालाइज द अब्जेक्ट रिकग्नाइज देम एज विच इज विच आर रिकग्नाइज एज धर्म इन बुद्धिज्म है अघि नै भनिसके एउटैमा त फरक के छ त कसरी युज गर्ने कसरी त्यो मोटिभमा अलिक फरक छ भने अर्को फरक के छ भन्दाखेरि बुद्धिज्ममा चाहिँ नि मेन्टल अब्जेक्ट र फिजिकल अब्जेक्ट भनेर दुईटै चिन्ने काम हुन्छ भने साइन्सले चाहिँ फिजिकल अब्जेक्टलाई मात्रै चिन्ने काम भइरहेको छ त्यो पनि मैले भनिसके अघि अब अर्को अब चाहिँ अब्जेक्टहरू कस्तो स्वभावको हुन्छ भन्दाखेरि सबैले थाहा भएको कुरा हो अनि त्यो भन्छ टेनिटोरिनेस अथवा इम्परमानेन्स साइन्सले पनि त्यही भनेर आइरहेको हो बुद्धिज्मले पनि त्यही भनिरहेको हो तर यो अनित्य हाउ अनित्य रुल्स रुल यो अनित्य कसरी चल्छ भन्ने कुरामा आफ्नो आफ्नो मत छ अब बुद्धिज्मले पनि सुरुमा आउँदाखेरि कुनै पनि धर्म या भनेको कुनै पनि अब्जेक्ट ओरिजिनेट हुन्छ र 
रो कंटिन्स अथवा इंड्यूरेंस पीरियड होता पीछे डिजुलेसन अथवा डिस्ट्रक्शन होता भाइंस ने करी करी तस्ती कुरा करने हो तर साइंस सब एकदम मिलने कुरा कसले भादा खेल सौट्राटिक सौट्राटिक को अपना एट दर्शन छिओरी अफ मुमेन्ट्रीनेस तो सुरू में आंदा कि पच्चीस थे मानी उसे के भाषा भादा खेल सौट्राटिक द मुमेन्ट धर्म एराइज इट गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉयड भत्पन्न होने बितिक नष्ट हो भाई साधारण भाषा में बुझ् सकि तर उ के भाई एकदम माइक्रो लेवल को एकदम माइन्यूट फर्म में रहकर धर्म अब्जेक्ट तो माइन्यूट लेवल में रहकर माइक्रो भन्न या नानो भन्न नानो पार्टिकल भन्न तो मोमेंट बाई मोमेंट चेन्ज भैर हो मोमेंट बाई मोमेंट नया रिप्लेस भैर हो जो कुछ बाहर बात देखिंदन तो गहरे हेल्यों तस्तर जो सौटांटिक अइंस ने किसिम को कुरा थाली सकते भैस हम शरीर में हेरा भी हम ब्लड सेल बने को नष्ट हो नया आर रिप्लेस हो सूक्ष्म रूप में गए यही प्रक्रिया चल रहा होता अब यह सौटांटिक को सौटांटिक दर्शन भाई मत सौटाटिक हूं बढ़कर भाई तो जमात हरा गई सको तर यह चाहिए साइंटिफिक एज में अज साइंटिफिक किसिम को कुरा करने रहे चिनी रख इसमें तब को ध्यान आकर्षण करें मैं अर्को हि बोजन को पार्टिकल फिजिस्ट को पार्टिकल फिजिस्ट में के होता भादा खेल ये एटा हि बोजन भाई पता लगा आज भाग आठ वर्ष अगड़ी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व तीर ते बार न्यूज पेपर सब ठीक है ठीक है ये कर टाइम अंत हि बोजन ने पार्टिकल को जो पार्टिकल कुछ अब्जेक्ट लो पार्टिकल मस दस बनाने मतलब भार तर आप इनिजिबल छिंदन तस्ते कि हम पुर्गल बात बने समिति स्कूल ने जमा में समिति स्कूल ने क्या भादा खेल भार हार यो कि पुर्गल पुर्गल आत्म भाई होना धेरीले पुर्गल बात आत्म भात भर क्रिटिशाइज करो तर तो क्रिटिशाइज मिलते हैं उन्नीर को भाई का मतलब इनविजिबल छो प्रति सट पुर्गल को जो हि बोजन हे बोजन ते हे बोजन जो देखिए नदेखे भेदापी उस प्लेटफॉर्म में प्रस्तुत कर सकते प्रदार्थ होने किटान इसलिए यो आज काल को नया डिस्कवरी संग मिलने गई रह जो कुछ बुद्धिस्टर ने पैले करे अब अर्क पुर्गल को स्कंद कसरी बाइंड करो पर्सनलिटी कसरी होने पर्सनलिटी को आत्मसंग मिलने गए वाले विरोध कर खोजे हो अर्क दबी अ एटम को एटम को सुरू में धेरी ने परमाणुवाद को गयो बुद्धिजम ने साइंस ने एटम साइंस ने सुरू में आंदा खेल ये इनिशियली एटम चाहिए पार्टलेस हो इंडिविजुअल होने वाक जो थी पच्चीस गलत साबित भो पार्टिकल तो एटम भी डिविजिबल छटम एटम को पार्टर होने पीछे प्रूव होते गयो धेरी किसिम का सब एटोमिक पार्टिकल आए जैसे इलेक्ट्रोन प्रोटोन न्यूट्रन भेस पच्चीस तो क्वाक भाई आए ते पीछे विभिन्न किसिम को अरुण पार्टिकल को उपस्थिति देखि आयो मतलब के रहे बेला तस्त इंस्ट्रुमेंट बने थे सब हेन अब जब इंस्ट्रुमेंट बनने गयो नया नया कुछ देखिने गई रह जो बुद्धिजम ने पैल्य कुछ संग मिलने गई रह अर्क भो नया नया जो नया तत्व निस्क्रिय पार्टिकल निस्क्रिय चर्चा तो मैं कोई नाम देखे क्वार बल लेप्टन बोजन्स है मिशोन्स पिओन्स कायोन्स थुप्रे पार्टिकल पता लगे गई बीसों किसिम को पार्टिकल ठा पाई सकते लर्क इंटर कन्वर्टिबिलिटी बिट्विन फर्म एंड सुन्यता भाई जो दर्शन छोड़ रूपम शून्यता सुन्यत रूपम रूपन्न पृथक शून्यता सुन्यता पृथक रूपम फर्म नहीं शून्यता हो 
शून्यता नहीं फॉर्म हो बने रा बुद्ध धर्म प्रज्ञा पार्विता सूत्र में जून पन्ये को सा ते पूरा जो जर आइंस्टाइन को या तो जाइन उनको विचार पहले आई सके कुछ त्यो साइंस और पश्चिम आर आयो कि वो योर एक्यूशन पन्ये देखो सा ये बराबर यमसी स्क्वायर बने रा और मास ताई इनोजी मा कन्वर्ट होन्चा और इन इंटर जब तक चेंज होने जाए इनर्जी में चेंज होने जाए इसको फॉर्म ले सुन जाए तो फॉर्म देखें नहीं ना तो इसलिए यो कुरा लाए यो तो इन प्रक्रिया पाए में तो हिंदी सूत्र में जून पर ये कुछ रूप ने सुनेता हो सुनेता ने रूप हो बने रा तो इसमें मिलने गए रहा कुछ यो साइंस ले पता लाऊं मंडा पहला जो आइंस्ट अनेक को करा पनी हाँ मैं दहेले पनी नौ ग्राम पढ़े रो करा कर सों पुता कर दागे पनी नौ ग्राम पुता कर सों बुद्ध धर्म अनुसार तिस्ता ग्राम ढेरी हुन्सन जो चाहिए बुद्धिस कॉस्मोलॉजी बनने सा तेरा ढेरी तिस्ता चाहिए खगोलीय पिन और को करा हुन्सन जिस तो त्यो करा पनी ऐले को डिस्कवरी संग ये सत्रों वटा प्लैनेट हरों डिस्कवर भेज चुके कुछ आ रामचंद्र गई तो इसलिए ये ले पनी बुद्ध धर्म में ले जून को रा पंद्रह ही आया को हो तो चाहिए ऐल मिल लगे रहा कुछ आ तो इसलिए यो देनी रिसर्च जून पहला कुछ आ एस्ट्रोनॉमी में स्पेस साइंस में ये सब ये बुद्धिज्म ले पहले ही फॉरकास्ट करी से को पहले आउ तेज वाचे जी जो फिटेस था तेज के लिए मात्रे ही तेज जी जो जो मात्रे नेचर नेचर को सिलेक्शन में पार्सा बने रह जून कोरा बताया कुछ यू दार्मिन ले तेज तो कोरा बुद्ध ले पहले बात बनी सी गया कुछ यू मतलब जले मिडल वे को पाठ फॉलो करना सकने बाय दे आऊं सा तेले मात्रे ही सर्वाइवल को चांस पाऊंगा मि� लाइस इस तरह पूरा हो ये तो कॉन्क्लुजन में पनी जैसे बुद्धिज्म का साइंस तेरी मिल रहा है आप 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 ये कापस में साइंस ले जून पूरा पता लगाऊं नहीं गई रहा है कुछ आप बुद्धिज्म ले तेरी पूरा क्या पनी से क्या को रह रहा है बनी साइंस ले जून जून डिस्कवरी कर सब बुद्धिज्म ले तेलाइटे बड़ी तंजी नुनसा बनी बुद्धिज्म ले चला प्रयोग करने को पसारी तेरे को दे आप वो ये इस बात का मुक्त होने को लगी एटेंशन एटेंशन बात का मुक्त होने को लगी डिटेंशन को लेसन पाओ ने को लगी गौर सबने साइंस ले एटेंशन में बड़ी फोकस करें तो गलत आकूं सा ओके मैं बोल ये ठीक बने हाँ ये तो समय में सब Buddha's teaching. We are so happy. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Okay, if any questions will be emerged in the chat box, then we will present those questions to you and you will okay answer those questions later. Okay. And then yes. Okay, our next speaker is Venerable Pini Ardika Linkara. And Venerable Pini Ardika Linkara is from Myanmar. And uh Venerable uh Linkara, he is the registrar of Maha Bihara Dhamma Bina University, MDBU from Myanmar, and he is also act, he is a head and founder of okay, Pinya, Pinya Yungunsi Buddhist Education Center in Myanmar. Okay, he is a uh, emerging scholar and he has been taking classes West, Western students as well, and he, he, he often takes classes in Abhidhamma and he has the efficient of linking those Abhidhammas with the modern science and modern psychology. So in this, uh, the second presentation session, I would like to have a warm welcome to Venerable Pinyar Dika Linkara for his presentation. Venerable, okay. please take your time. Okay. Thank you very much, all. And Sumangalo, Ayankalo, this is the auspicious time, and good, uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Bernard Panyadigara from Myanmar, 
And first of all, I'd like to thank to Mr. Panora Nupani to inviting me to this webinar and introducing me, the scholar in Nepal. So today I'm going to present on the topics understanding Abhidhamma from modern science and vice versa. So as all you know, science brings the wonderful and comfortable living to the human world, opening the eyes to the new aspect of understanding. At the same time, it also imports a new way of thinking with the challenge of traditional beliefs and religious faith. So since science brings better life to wonderful one, one, one Buddhism guides for innocent living with the understanding on the nature of reality. Science development gives the challenges to the religious belief, but not too much to understanding of the Buddha Abhidhamma as Abhidhamma teaching is applicable for the tradition of Buddhist meditation. Scientists and Buddhist followers share the right to open their eyes to investigate on the true nature. The final fulfillment of Buddhist belief and practice can only be achieved by profound inside knowledge of ultimate truth. Science consists of ongoing exploration, working on formulation, aggregation of data. And science consists of ongoing exploration, working on formulation, aggregation of data, and reformulations, accumulation evidence, convincing that further inquiry without any final endpoints. Bendrager, do you have your slides there? Do you share your yes. slides also? Uh, yes, I'm. Yeah, we are not viewing okay, it. Not sharing? Yeah, oh, okay. it's not being shared. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, now, share. yeah now it is being shared. Yeah, okay. Okay, right. Okay, thank you very much for your reminding. <laughs> okay, this, yes, I'm trying to introduce the is science and Buddhism at the same time. So the scientists and Buddhist followers sharing the right to open their own investigation on the true nature. So the final fulfillment of Buddhist belief and practice can only be achieved by profound inside knowledge of ultimate truths. Science consists of ongoing exploration, working on formulation, aggregation of data, and reformulations, accumulating evidence, convincing that further inquiry without any final endpoints. So correlation between Abhidhamma and science. So continue to observe what are the correlation. The Abhidhamma teaching contains the philosophy, psychology, chemistry, physics, and biology of modern age. But the complete meaning of Abhidhamma teaching cannot be enclosed by none of them. Both science and Buddhist Abhidhamma claim the facts of natural phenomenon in their own way. There are some points of compatibility or interdependence between Buddhism and science, such as the observation of transformation, dispersal, and degeneration of materiality. The Abhidhamma teaching, such as the causal relationship of physical particles and the nature of mutual condition among the mentalities and materiality seem to be repeatedly related to the scientific research process. So the complexity theory of science broadly corresponds with the Abhidhamma view of there is always a collection of conditions giving rise to a collection of effects. The existence of human body is compound of hydrogen ions with other biological molecules, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus, and preeminently carbon. And also, Abhidhamma described that human body is the process of material clusters that emerge due to the conditions and takes the place of previous banishing material cluster. And a living human being is a unification of two processes of mentality and materiality. Scientific discovery of entropy, of the dissolution of all compounded structures, 
seem to advocate the less war of the Buddha. All compounded things are subject to decay. Such kind of scientific observation bring natural phenomena to public awareness and infly imply the nat nature of impermanence, as you know, anicca, non-self, anatta, and the law of nature, dharma, of the Buddhist teaching. It is considered by the experience of vipassana meditators who introspectively observe physical and mental phenomena of inside and outside of the body. So here, I would like to dis I would like to explain what Buddhism discuss on and what is not what Buddhism discussed on. In this case, the Buddha himself declared what he will not discuss or expound is on his teaching. So those are not related to the practice and then not related to the final goal of enlightenment and Nibbana. So the only things related to the practice and the final destination of enlightenment and Nibbana are discussed in Buddhism. So these are called the Four Nova True in Brief. It is suffering, the origin of suffering and the succession and the path leading to the succession. And the next thing is the Buddhism itself can be regarded as science. So the Buddhism does not advocate the blind faith as all you know. It is teaching related on the foundation of knowledge, understanding of the law of the nature through the personal experience. So the investigation of the nature plays in the important role in the Buddhist practice. The Buddha opened the door of investigation saying that it is proper that you have doubt and that you have publicity. Doubt has arisen in you, but about publicity matter. So this, the way of approval accepted in Buddhism come through the self experience find the practice touching into the nature of reality. So all, you know, the well-known discourse of Kalama Sutta already stated 10 ways to avoid this blind faith. So not to go find traditional or reports of the lineage of teaching, hearsay, authority of text, or myologies, or inferential reasoning, and reasoning, cognition, and acceptance, in speculated opinion and seeming competence of a speaker following the respected teacher. This teaching encouraged to test oneself to comprehend and make decision the true nature of reality. The custom of invitation in Buddhism is that come and see or practice to see. Then I'm going to continue to the Abhidhamma. What is Abhidhamma? So Abhidhamma is one of the sessions of in the teaching of the Buddha, given the profound knowledge of mentality and materiality with their respective causes. It is used to articulate the information about the suffering and origin of suffering that contain the physical, mental, physical and mental process of life, including animate and inanimate universe. From Buddhist point of view, the whole universe of animate beings and inanimate things can be classified into the types of natural phenomena, and they arise due to underlying causes. So we have to observe underlying cause in Abhidhamma study. So Abhidhamma knowledge can apply. It is not. Some people say there is only the theory, but actually the Abhidhamma can be applied into the practice. So Abhidhamma teaching has given the complete set of formulation in the nature of reality of matter and mind. These explanations come to appear as the research field in the sense of meditator is pure. So if you meditate, you can touch the Abhidhamma teaching to understand. And if, if one does not meditate, he cannot he cannot touch to the reality. So it, he, th he may think the Abhidhamma is only the theory. Then Abhidhamma is a profound teaching expressing the nature of reality. So, and Abhidhamma, the entire exposition of Abhidhamma in terms of ultimate truth. 
as mentioned, the border in Diganikaya, so he is going beyond the conventional usage. And with, the, as the border said, the use the misapprehended them. According to the teaching, existence is mere process of physical and mental phenomena with, within which and beyond which no real ego entities or any abiding substance can ever be found. So in this case, the Abhidharma teacher, Abhidharma teaching relate to the, the conditional relationship between mentalities and materiality. So mentalities, materiality to mentality, materialities to materialities, mentalities to materiality in this way. So in, if you make the condition of the reality, you can find for reality of consciousness, mental factors, and materiality as a conditional reality, and Nibbana is unconditional reality. In this case, I would like to relate it to scientific research uh, with the Abhidharma teaching. So scientific research can apply, can be applied into three conditional reality, but it cannot be applied into the fourth one of Nibbana, unconditional reality. So it is out of the research of worldly view. And if we observe through the Vipassana Jnana of the, the scientific tool, the small, we can find the smaller cluster according to the Abhidharma, it consists of a material phenomenon, like the four elements of, element of the earth, water, fire, and wind and also color, smell, taste, and nutritive essence. They arise together, cease together, and sharing some common base. This is the last cluster of materiality in Abhidhamma and is called the invisible, indivisible cluster. You cannot divide it anymore with any, any tools. So the importance of materialities, understanding materiality, the, the Buddhist practice, the knowledge of mentality, both mentality and materialities are very important. So as the Buddha says, the practice you know, a bhikkhu understand it is reality or materiality of whatever kind consists of the four great elements and materiality derived from the four great elements, altogether 28 materiality, but they will not come at the same time together and then and they will come in one time, the arising status and dissolution in the cluster, in the way of cluster. So if you cannot observe the reality and if you cannot understand the true nature of the reality, the danger of dogma can, can come to the, the discussion of come to the mind. So as long as one is possessed a line of session, he is doing, he is not doing wrong. He's on the right way. So the danger is the decision of this, this only is true and the opposite false. Idami was such a moga manyan in Pali. This belief can start many problems, arguments and fighting. So in the scientific history, many of the old facts are overturned by new conclusion, new discovery or new finding. So yeah, as long I'll as kindly remind you of the time limitation, please. Okay, okay. So, so as a quantum physicist, if you think uh, the famous saying of the quantum physics, uh, the if you think you understand quantum physics, then you don't. Okay, so the story of blind man to the elephants. So, in conclusion. From the Buddhist perspective, follower regards the science as uh, complementary because we already share the, the way of researching into the reality of existence with the science. So still the walking of karma, rebirth and precise frequent of materiality are still mystery for the science. So, so before I finish my, my speech, I would like to appreciate the scientists for their endeavor throughout the history and encourage to contemporary scientists to live in harmony, searching in a way of our own destination. Thank you very much. May all beings be happy, healthy, in search of noble truths. Thank you very much. Thank you, Venerable Vantaji. We are so, so happy 
for your generous presentation. And it's very, very insightful, very meaningful. Actually, in this world, everything is mind and matter. There is nothing beyond mind and matter. It is Abhidhamma who is teaches us to realize and to understand that it is uh, a basic level of those things from the practice of Vipassana. Yeah, that what I think uh, I understood from your presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, by now we have uh, two presentations okay, have been already over. And I want to open this forum. If any participants, if they have any queries, any questions regarding these two presentations, they are welcome. I have already uh, written a message in the chat box that all sorts of questions are welcomed here. So, uh, between this mid time, I want to request Professor Dr. Vidyanath Koirala, who is a renowned educationist for our country, Nepal. And we see him in television and in radio and different social medias. He has been raising the different issues pass, especially in the sector of education. I want to request Dr. Koirala, okay, if he has any remarks or if he has any input regarding these two presentations by now. Yeah, Professor Koirala. Tanyavad, namaskar. 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 English or Nepali or whatever? Uh, better uh, Nepali. Okay. Mosai Pat Satata Prosna Matregor, so Moile Moile Prosna Gore. This is another question for the presenters, but it was a question for myself. Poilo Prosna Kyovan, they came. Buddhoko evolutionism, quantum theory, cognitive theory, science, cosmology, the metaphysics, Sanga, or Udharma, Kojasto Kiratko, Hinduko, Buddhist Islamko. By Isaiah, come on, keep Horoksha, Vandre Kosele Sudio Vane, Moiliki Vanola. This is kind of first question that I have. Those two persons and Moiliki Sudo and Ravande keep Hami Science Ku Bodo Kurakani Gurson, Science Sanga Jailepani Lab Sanga Tasiko Kurakani Gurson, Buddha Le Kun Lab Matu Gyan Banayavalan, Afne Lab Ma Afan Vitra within himself, with the nature. In the laboratory, Buddha said somewhere, virtual lab, or any other. Kya ho saath sahi ban rakho sahi shodhe ho bande ki science ko nimti lab science ka bande hami jas ta shilly year lai. Buddha ko buddhi le kya bansha? Aaj jis science sikna ta Buddha sange science sa bane to jorili chara. The second question, dweita question bane. Tisro question meru kyu ho vane dekhi? Maile maile swadhi raju, but you can answer as somebody will answer for it. Tisro question kya swadhi hai vane vane dekhi nahi? Bhaiyanik bichare ru vane bhani shakhe pashi, jayile pani telle justify garna khos dore sha, falsify garna khos dore sha, or naya science banana khos dore sha. Justify, aba buddha ko chintan lai hami chani kaa neri justify gar sa, kaa neri falsify gar sa, Kaneri Naya thought Banaus on Wonder Cosel is Sodio and Mulki Java Diniola. Mani Buddhist tried against scholar early. Kaneri justify Gare, Kaneri falsify Gare, Kaneri new science Banai Jabuki, Buddha Leki Banevane, Napatau, Azamau, a fine test Garavan Zavane, but Ami Kiagore, believer Banuki, Buddha Banako Sigarum, Buddha Lai follow Garunki, Buddha Lai discard Garum. Tesro Prasna Bane. Chotu Prasna Mare Kikis Sansar Dukha Basha, Buddha Kovasama. Pastabako Basama Ankar Mayasa. Sanche Kovasa, we were the Yogna, Aru Aru Darsan Kovasama, Muhammayasa. Samevadi Kovasama, the operation Mayasa, it them it Yotale Chichasa, Tele Arkova, the Birogan of Kotsa, Tesiliga Rakirias to Basha. Kunsani base tiko, the Kunsani Adhar tiko, which base is the right base? Dukkha tiko ki, the pride, the ahankar is a hoki, Atabha chani, kiho saan chai. Tiyo chani mai le chowtho prasna vandar rakhe. Pancho prasna ki rakhe vandar rakhe, Buddha bichu, 
बुद्ध लामा र बुद्ध प्राज्ञा बुद्ध संबंध में तीन थरी को मानसिला मले बरी करने गए माने व्यवहार में लागने मानसिया तो और को कुछ न कुछ रोकने वाला क्यों ते तीन थरी को मानसिर लाई बुद्ध बुच्चू बुद्ध लामा र बुद्ध प्राज्ञा को बीच में तात्विक समानता को मीटिंग पॉइंट कहाँ नहीं हो र पॉइंट ऑफ डिपार्चर वेल द पॉइंट ऑफ डिपार्चर वन रा बने वाले मले क्या जवाब दिए वाला छठों प्रश्न वाले मले क्या है रे मन बंदे के बुद्ध को नैरेटिव्स वाले को ग्रैंड नैरेटिव्स हो मेटा नैरेटिव्स हो और क्या बिग थ्योरी हो बुद्ध को थ्योरी रा हमी जस्तो जनता जनादन का सामान्य त्यैं लुमिनी को छत्र वरी परी बस ने मान शेर को स्मॉल नैरेटिव्स को बीच में कानेरी फर्क शावला है हिमाल को मान शेर में क्यों फर्क शावला मधेश को मान शेर में क्यों फर्क शावला पहाड़ को मान शेर में क्यों फर्क होला ये उटा जाती रा और को जाती को चिंतन में कानेरी फर्क होला वह स्मॉल नैरेटिव्स जनता जनादन ले बो की राशन बुद्ध को नैरेटिव्स बुद्धिस्ट यूनिवर्सिटीज़ जेल ले बो की राशन थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड नॉट ओनली इन लुम्बिनी बुद्ध बस थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड तो जनता को नैरेटिव्स रा बुद्ध को नैरेटिव्स को बीच में रिलेशन कहाँ नहीं रिएस्टैब्लिश कर सा एंड द फाइनल क्वेश्चन यू मानसिक रुकी उदरीश बंद की ये उटा लेवल में पूरी शायद पसी दे थिंक ए लाइट जस्ट लाइक इन सुपर कंसस्टेंस बन चाहिए फिलॉसफिकल लैंग्वेज इफ यू टॉक ओम बन्नो अल्लाह बन्नो आमेन बन्नो ये उटे रीडम क्रिएट कर दो रिश्ता तेल ले ऑल साउंड लाइक इन बोकेरा आउने किस्म को उन्हें रिश्ता क्यों बने को � अथवा त्यों चाहिए क्या रेशा बंदे कि हाँ मिला ही जेनरेट करने और वार रेगुलेट करने किसी को वर्ड रेशा वन रा वन रा बनने चाहिए ऐसे ही बुझी दो रेशा बुद्ध ले बंदा नित्य बुझी दो रेशा हिंदू ले बंदा नित्य बुझी दो रेशा इस्लाम ले बंदा बनते बुझी दो रेशा ईसाई ले बंदा पनीते बुझी � कॉन्सेस लेवल में पनी छा, सब कॉन्सेस लेवल में पनी छा, पर ये चार वाला टेरिन चल दी लेवल होने से नहीं जो कॉन्सेस आप सब कॉन्सेस ऑन कॉन्सेस रा सुपर कॉन्सेस नेस को लेवल में बुद्ध को चिंतन कहाँ नेरी कहाँ नेरी चाहिए यो यो आइले को जोन जनता जनार्दन को नॉलेज छा क्यों नॉलेज संग मिल छा कहाँ � मैं लिख के उत्तर देने वाला तू जाने सिली क्वेश्चन दर आया मैं सेल तो आई होप दैट यू डू आंसर इट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर इंटरेस्टिंग मी दिस काइंड ऑफ वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू वेरी मच धन्यवाद सर आदरणीय विद्यानाथ सर लाई देरी नहीं जेनुइन पर देरी नहीं गहन प्रश्न � आम्रो सर अर्लाई, सुरेंद्र सर लाई, आइली को प्रेजेंटेशन को ला जल्ले प्रेजेंटेशन को रिसर्च नुवाई को सा, आम अनुरोध करता हूँ। अरे यो पछिला प्रेजेंटेशन में अपने कहीं कहीं इसको उत्तर रुस आए आउं दे वाला रख ये प्रश्न रुको कती पे उत्तर रुस आए बिजनेस कर सकें लेकिन था सा वाला। ये संदर्भ में ये � अनम्यूट करने पड़े सर म्यूट सा आजुर को जे माइक्रोफोन सुरेंद्र सर आजुर को माइक्रोफोन म्यूट बाय सर आजुर सा अब आजुर सर बल आसनी सर फिर जी धन्यवाद सर विद्यानार साल एकदम गहरो प्रश्न आरो डाकनु बायो इसको आंसर दिने तो गारु था तभी भी नहीं मिले जाने जस्तो अली कटी बहुत प्रयास कर चुके हैं ये एकदम मुश्किल था यो अब एक नंबर में तमाहे बन वो इवोल्यूशन थ्योरी को पूरा करने बायो आए इवोल्यूशन ये तो ही यो और रिलिजन मंदा को के फर्क सा बनने पूरा में इवोल्यूशन को पूरा कर दाखिल सूत्र यो कुल लेवल में आते हैं इन सूत्र शुरू भायो और कसरी चाहिए राज्य और बने और कसरी चाहिए जी भरो आये बने त्याग सूत्र में चा अत सूत्र का सब ये बैंक का गानों तो यार गार ऊपर सा ना तेस्ता सूत्र आ रहा हूँ जाइ बुढ़ रहा हूँ मैं चा त्यो अनसाथ चले गोंगा अब सारा लाइ 
इवोल्युसन थ्योरी त्यो बुद्ध धर्ममा नभएको होइन छ अनि अर्को कुरा दुई नम्बरमा छ तपाईको बुद्धको ल्याब के हो भन्दाखेरि बुद्धको ल्याब चाहिँ अब त्यबेला ल्याबको जमाना हुन सक्छ भनेर त अन्दाज गर्न सक्दैनौ अहिले अहिलेको जस्तो साइन्टिफिक टुल्सहरू यता इक्विपमेन्ट्सहरू भएको हामी मान्न सक्दैनौ तर के गर्छ भन्छ भन्दा कि प्रज्ञा 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 र ज्ञानमा फरक छ भन्छ प्रज्ञा भनेपछि आफैले अनुभव गरेर चाहिँ ल्याएको कुरा हो ज्ञान भने पनि यता उता सुनेर अरूबाट पनि त्यही थाहा पाउने कुरा हो त्यो प्रज्ञा आफैले महसुस गरेर यो रहेछ भनेर थमेर बताउनु भएको त्यसैले आफैले चाहिँ प्रज्ञा उत्पन्न गर्नुपर्छ भनेर त्यही नै भन्ने गर्छ धेरै जसो यो मेन्टल वर्ल्डको कुरा हुन्छ यहाँ होइन यो मेडिटेसनबाट त्यो चाहिँ नि हुन्छ भन्ने एउटा मान्यता छ त्यसैले म मेडिटेसनमा निकै फो फोकस गरिन्छ त्यो प्रज्ञाको कुरा चाहिँ यहाँ आउँछ प्रज्ञा भएपछि सबै कुरा ओमनिसियन भन्छ सबै कुरा थाहा हुने होइन पास लाखको पनि कुरा थाहा हुन्छ भनिएको छ अब त्यो विभिन्न चाहिँ मेडिटेसनबाट विभिन्न चाहिँ त्यो अलौकिक ज्ञानहरू प्राप्त हुन्छ पूर्वानुस्मृति ज्ञान भनेर पुरानो रिकल हुने होइन त्यो आफ्सप छे ज्ञान भनेर यो कसरी धर्महरू उत्पन्न हुन्छ कसरी हराएर जान्छ भन्ने त्यस्ता ज्ञानहरू आफै आफ आफै बोर्ड भएर आउँछ हुन्छ भन्छ अनि पछिल्लो कुरा के छ भन्दाखेरि हामी स्टुडेन्टहरूले र पहिलाका आचार्यहरूले पनि बुद्ध धर्मको कुराहरू गर्दाखेरि प्रमाण शास्त्रको आर्य प्रमाण शास्त्रको आधारमा कुरा गर्छन् र प्रमाण सम्मत भयो भने मात्रै त्यसलाई एक्सेप्ट गर्ने प्रमाण दिन सकेन भने त्यो त्यतिकै त्यही गोलमाल भएर जान्थ्यो त्यही बुद्धिस्ट बुद्धिस्ट लजिक्स भनेर छ बौद्ध प्रमाण शास्त्र बौद्ध न्याय शास्त्र भन्ने छ एकदमै महसुस छ एकदमै पपुलर छ त्यो बेला यो चाहिँ नि फोर्थ सेन्चुरीदेखि एट सेन्चुरीसम्म एकदमै त्यसको बुद्धिस्ट प्रमाण शास्त्रको जमाना हो त्यसमा आचार्य दिग्नाग धर्मकृति जस्ता आचार्यहरू आएको थियो र उनीहरूको जमाना एकदम शास्त्रार्थ हुन्थ्यो अरू धर्महरूसँग पनि शास्त्रार्थ हुन्थ्यो र शास्त्रार्थमा आफ्नो मत राख्नुको लागि लजिस्टको सहारा लिन्थे लजिस्ट भनेको मैले पनि अलिकति हेर्दाखेरि कस्तो लाग्यो म्याथमेटिकल हो त्यो त्यो चाहिँ नि जस्तै ए इज गुड टू फाइभ बी इज गुड टू फाइभ भयो भने ए इज गुड टू बी भन्न सक्ने त्यस्तो चाहिँ आधारहरू त्यहाँ बनाएको त्यो म्याथमेटिकल कुराहरू पनि आउँछ यो कुरा भयो अनि त्यो बुद्धको ल्याब भन्नु त्यो छ अनि जस्टिफाई र फल्सिफाई गर्ने भनेको बुद्ध धर्मले सर्टेन कुरा चाहिँ एसर एसोचन गरेको छ टोकेर भनेको छ कि यो संसारको तिनवटा लक्षण हुन्छ अनि त्यो दुःख अनात्म हो जुन कुरा अनित्य छ अनित्य भएर सबै चेन्ज भएर जाने कुरा हो है त्यो चेनलाई कसैले रोक्न सक्दैन चेन त भइदिइरहेको हुन्छ यो संसारको एउटा लक्षण चाहिँ क्याटरिस्टिक भनेको चेन्ज भएर जाने सबै कुरा चेन्ज भएर जाने हुन्छ जुन कुरा चेन्ज भएर जान्छ त्यसलाई आत्मा भन्न त मिलेन जसरी आत्मालाई परिभाषा दिएको हुन्छ अजर अमर नित्य अविनाशी भनेर जसरी चाहिँ डिफाइन गर्न खोजिएको छ त्यो डिफिनेसनसँग मिल्ने कुरा यो संसारमा भेटिँदैन त्यसैले यो अनात्मा आत्माको कुरा गर्नु भएन भनेर भन्छन् अर्को कुरा जुन कुरा चाहिँ यो चेन्ज भएर जान्छ त्यो चेन्ज भएर जानु भने कि दुःख हो भन्छ त्यसले दुःख त हुनेवाला नै छ यो संसारमा बसुन्जेलसम्म किनभने सबै कुरा अनिति छ अनि त्यो भएकोले दुःख भइरहेको हो त्यो यो तिनवटा जोडिएको छ यो तिनवटालाई लिइसकेपछि इट इज लाइक यो चाहिँ नि सिल अथवा मार्क मार्क अफ एक्जिस्टेन्स यो चाहिँ बुद्ध धर्मको सिल लाछाप जस्तै जहाँ अनि त्यो दुःख अनात्मको कुरा हुन्छ द्याट मिन्स इट इज द सब्जेक्ट अफ बुद्धिजम भन्ने हुन्छ त्यो अरूले आफ्नो आफ्नो किसिमले गर्छ अनि त्यो ठाउँमा नित्यको कुरा गर्छन् अरूले अनात्माको ठाउँमा आत्माको कुरा गर्छन् है दुःखको ठाउँमा हामी हाम्रो उद्देश्य सुख प्राप्तको लागि हो भनेर व्याख्या गर्छन् फरक यहाँनिर आएर एकदम राम्रोसँग क्लियर कट हुन्छ अनि चाहिँ नि यो तपाईँले चार नम्बरमा दुःखमय र आकर्षण बुद्ध यो अहंकार भन्ने आफ्नो आफ्नो मतको कुरा हुन्छ बुद्ध धर्मले आफ्नो किसिमले व्याख्या गरेको छ त्यसमा चाहिँ नि थप भन्ने कुरा मैले त्यति यहाँ सुझिरहेको छैन अनि अर्को पाँचौँमा तपाईँले भन्नुभयो यो भिक्षु भन्ने कि लामा भन्ने कि प्राज्ञ भन्ने कि बुद्धलाई भन्ने तपाईँले भन्नुभयो बडो गम्भीर कुरा गर्नुभयो अब भिक्षु भन्नखेरि यो चाहिँ नि यो त रिलिजनको हिसाबमा गयो लामा भन्दाखेरि पनि टिबिटन बुद्धिजममा चाहिँ नि लामा भन्छ त्यो त्यो पनि रिलिजियस वेमै भनेको भयो जसले रिलिजन भनेर मान्दैन उसको लागि त प्राज्ञ हो त्यसैले इट्स आवर च्वाइस हाउ टु कल बुद्ध होइन त्यसलाई प्राज्ञ रूपमा मान्ने कि लामाको रूपमा मान्ने कि भिक्षुको रूपमा मान्ने भन्ने कुरामा आफ आफ्नो मत होला जसले धर्ममा विश्वास गर्छन् उनीहरूको लागि लामा हुनसक्छ भिक्षु हुनसक्छ भने अब साधारण मान्छे पनि जसले त रिलिजनलाई त्यति मान्दैन उसको लागि प्राज्ञ हो 
यो भयो अनि चाहिँ नि न्यारेटिभ को कुरा गर्दा खेरि अब सबै बुद्ध धर्मका न्यारेटिभ्सहरु केमा केटेड हुन्छ भन्दा खेरि कसरी दुख्त मुक्त हुने अरु लामो कुरा गरेर राख्दै गयो आखिर त्यो कुरा कल्मिनेट कल्मिनेसन पोइन्ट कहाँ आएर आउँछ भन्दा खेरि अति दुखबाट कसरी मुक्त हुने त्यसमा केन्द्र हुँदैन है त्यो कसको देशसँग आउने न्यारेटिभ्सहरु कथाहरु जति पनि अवदान साहित्य भन्छ दातक भन्छ जति पनि आउँछ या निकायको कुरा हुन्छ सबै चाहिँ त्यसको फोकल पोइन्ट चाहिँ दुखबाट कसरी मुक्त हुने भन्ने कुरा हो अनि अन्तमा तपाईले चाहिँ यो तीनवटा लेभलको कुरा गर्नुभयो सुपर कन्सियसनेस अनि अनकन्सियसनेस र सब कन्सियसनेस यो बुद्ध धर्म राम्रोसँग व्याख्या भएको छ त्यसको एउटा दर्शन योगाचार दर्शन भन्ने छ एउटा योगाचार दर्शन भनेर त्यहाँनिर विज्ञानवाद पनि भनिन्छ त्यसमा हाम्रो चित्तलाई आठवटा विभाजन गरेको छ प्रविधि विज्ञान भनेर छवटा चक्षु विज्ञान ठान विज्ञान त्यसरी स्रोत विज्ञान भनेर जुन इन्द्रियबाट हुने हो त्यसबाट उत्पन्न हुने विज्ञानलाई प्रविधि विज्ञान भनिन्छ अनि त्यो विज्ञान उत्पन्न भएको विज्ञान सबै मेरो हो भनेर टाँसी राख्ने म मेरो भनेर टाँसी राख्ने कृष्ण मनोविज्ञान भनेर हुन्छ भन्छन् उनीहरू र अर्को चाहिँ आले विज्ञान भनेर सबै स्टोर भइराख्ने त्यो विज्ञानहरू सबै स्टोर भइराख्ने अब एउटा त्यो छ हाम्रो हार्ड डिस्क जस्तै मनमा त्यो चाहिँ स्टोर हुने पोइन्ट आले विज्ञान आले भनेको घर हो विद्यालय भने चाहिँ घरमा चाहिँ स्टोर भइराख्ने त्यस्तो चाहिँ त्यो राम्रोसँग व्याख्या गरेर ठुल ठुला ग्रन्थहरू छन् है अङ्ग्रेजीमा पनि ट्रान्सलेट भएर आइरहेको छ जति चाहिँ बुद्धिज्मले यो यो चाहिँ सबकन्सियस लेभल कन्सियस लेभल र सुपर कन्सियस कुरा गर्छ सायद अरूले त्यति गर्दैन कि जस्तो छ धेरै ग्रन्थहरू छन् यसबारे र धेरै अभिधर्मको कुरा पनि यही आएर टिकेको हुन्छ अघि चाहिँ भन्तेजीले भन्नुभयो तपाईँले सातवटा जिज्ञासा राख्नुभयो मोटामोटी मैले जानेको मैले तपाईँलाई यो भने मैले कति मिल्छ कति मिल्दैन सरले अब चाहिँ गहन प्रश्नको गहन उत्तरै आएको छ अब हामीले एक हिसाबले भन्दाखेरि भगवान बुद्धको टिचिङ्समा तिन प्रकारको प्रज्ञाको कुरा गरिन्छ एउटा चाहिँ श्रुतमय प्रज्ञा सुनेर चाहिँ थाहा पाउने चिन्तनमय प्रज्ञा चिन्तन मननबाट थाहा हुने र अर्को भावनामय प्रज्ञा हामी श्रुतमय प्रज्ञा र चिन्तनमय प्रज्ञामा अलि बढी एक्सरसाइज हाम्रो भइराखेको होला भावनामय प्रज्ञामा हामी प्रवेश गऱ्यौँ भने प्राप्स यी सबै सारा प्रश्नहरूको उत्तर सायद त्यहाँ छ होला मैले पनि सुरेन्द्र सरले दिनुभएको उत्तरमा यो आन्सर अलिकति थप्न चाहेँ अब नाउ आई वुड लाइक टु गो टु सम क्वेसन सम क्युरिज फर आवर अनरेबल भन्तेजी एन्ड द फर्स्ट क्वेसन टु यु भेनरेबल पिन्नी हर्दिक लिङ्कर ओके इफ यु आर हियरिङ वान क्वेसन टु यु द फर्स्ट क्वेसन टु यु इज फ्रम मिस्टर कमल थापा हु इज अ स्टुडेन्ट फर लुम्बिनी बुद्धिस्ट युनिभर्सिटी ही हेज आस्ट क्वेसन दैट ही आस्क यु दैट is science close to buddhism or vice versa and at the at this very era where are we which level of understanding is would be right one okay uh, it is of the first question for you and there is uh, another question is also there i think uh, yeah the next question is that uh, it is from dinesh acharya <coughs> As a student of Buddhist histories, I understand that only meditation can purify mind, but there are numerous meditation techniques in Buddhist different traditions. Which are proven meditation techniques in modern science lab? I mean, which are better techniques proven in science lab to purify our mind? It is the next question. And then uh, there is uh, one clarification from our Dr. Nima Serpa to everyone. Okay, pertaining to the different issues raised over here. Okay, his clarification, <clears throat> clarification is that this is my personal understanding with regard to different between the Buddha's narrative and that of general people. In the post meditative stage, everything appears similar to both. However, in contemplation, in reality, a Buddha does not take things in their face value, but rather in their ultimate reality. I think this answer, this clarification is similarly with uh, what okay, I clarified a few uh, moments earlier. And the next question for Venerable okay, is uh, okay, from Ramchandra Oja. He asked that the Abhidhamma Pitaka consists of a minute analysis of mind and matter into their ultimate elements. So how it can be applied in daily life of people for making their life more happy, easier, uh, easier to survive, and peaceful and meaningful. Okay, uh, I kindly request uh, Venerable to answer okay, these questions 
if possible in brief because we have time limitations as okay. well okay okay thank you very much for your questions and very interesting the first one first question is relationship between the buddhism and science uh, through their understanding so the when the scientific scientists make the research on the material phenomena and then they see they, they can observe how they arise and how the uh, dissolution of the materiality at the right that is that is the right level of understanding it can apply to the buddhist teaching as a nature or like an impermanence or non self and although if we if they go further for the research also not related to the buddhist teaching it's okay so so that that is the right one to observe the reality as they really are and not developing only the theory so this is the question the answer for the first question and the the second second one the what is the the best or recommended in the left and i'm not exactly in the left how it is approved and for my recommendation the vipassana meditation is the best so vipassana is although you can start from different objects and you can focus on different objects the the main focus is observing the reality into its characteristic of the anicca dukkha and anatta impermanence suffering and the non self so by by observing that the mind become the purified so that must be vipassana meditation must be the best way and the third question is the how to apply the abhidhamma knowledge into daily life that is very wonderful question so we are trying to to train the our lay people how to how to use abhidhamma knowledge in their daily life so and when the person know and understand the process of a mentality and materiality with their condition and how they arise and what are the cause of the mentalities especially our wholesome mind and unwholesome minds so we can avoid the unwholesome mind the the condition of unwholesome mind applying our best attitude or very good attitudes to towards the environments and then the daily life events and then we can apply in that way and the other things you know depends on the theories cannot be can cannot be ends cannot be concludes in the application of the daily life so the way of buddhist practice is to promote our 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 life through the wholesome consciousness so this is the way how to apply the abhidhamma knowledge into daily life thank you very much okay uh thank you uh venerable and regarding the questions raised here are the different inputs and answers are also the uh expressed in the chat chat box by different scholars as well in this regard uh so i remember yes i have seen here uh dr kavindra bajracharya he has he has attempted to answer uh these uh, issues also and then uh, here is one genuine question okay is raised here it is uh raised by uh, professor dr gitu giri and Uh, Dr. Gitu, uh, Dr. Giri is a research director for Lumini Buddhist University. He has raised a question. His question is that what are tangible evidences to justify science and Buddhism? I think uh, I would request uh, Dr. Surendra Bajracharya to answer this question. So your mic is mute form. Please unmute it. हेलो हेलो जितु गिरी सर लाई नमस्कार छ यो उसको आन्सर विद्यानाथ कोइराला को उहाको क्वेशन मा पनि आइ सकेको छ अब यसलाई चाहिँ नि फिजिकली यो टेंजिबल हिसाबले जसरी साइन्सले गर्छ ल्याबमा टेस्ट गरेर त्यसलाई चाहिँ ल्याउने गर्छ त्यस्तो किसिमको छैन अब यसलाई चाहिँ नि अघि भने जस्तो एउटै आधार हो यो लोजिकली यसलाई प्रस्तुत गर्ने हो लजिकली प्रस्तुत करना कि लजिक संग मिले नहीं अब डिस्प्रूव होने जस्ते ये प्रूव कर फर्मुला प्रूव कर फर्मुला 
बिंदु भाषा प्रमाण समुच्चय भ्रंथर कसरी चाह मत स्थापित करने भाई तरीका जैसे एट उदाहरण उ सीलोजियम भपवाद भी कत ठाव आगो भाई चार बुढ़े उ फर्मुला चाहे आगो कूआ अभी जहाँ जहाँ धुआ हो आगो हो प्रूव कर लिया लैब में टेस्ट गये तो लैब को कंसेप्ट आगे छाइना इट कैन बी दे कैन बी भेरिफाइड टेन्जि टेन्जिबली फिजिकल वे में टेस्ट कर सकिं तर चाहिए इसी लजिस्ट को आधार में प्रमाणशास्त्र को आधार में प्रूव करने चलन थी बुद्ध को समय पच्चीस कति सय वर्षसम इस लजिकली प्रूव करने चलन थी रेस अनुसार न्यायशास्त्र को प्रमाणशास्त्र को विवास मान रूव करने को विज्ञान ने जो प्रूव कर लिया रखे मैं कई उदाहरण दी सके विज्ञान ने जो प्रूव कर लिया रखे बुद्ध धर्म को शास्त्र में बुद्ध धर्म को सूत्र में अलरेडी पैल्य देखि भो कुछ मैं कई चर्चा भी कर सके हाई अभी तो लैब टेस्ट कर आई रहो प्रूव भैर जैसे उदाहरण मैं ही भोजन के दिए तर पार्टिकल फिजिश में चाहिए ये गड पार्टिकल भो क्योंकि पार्टिकुलर फॉर्म में डिस्कवरी कर सकि छेन तर साइंटिस्टर सबले तस्ता चाहिए पार्टिकल छ जिससे कुरा मस दिने भार दिने काम भैर तर चाहिए पार्टिकुलर फॉर्म में लियान सकि जिस सब सब अटोमिक पार्टिकल आविष्कार करे भन्न मात्र सकि कुछ दिन तो आओलासले गड नोज कसद पार्टिकल भन्न गए तब सोच में यह फिजिकली या टेन्जिबली इस भेरिफाई करने कुछ बने सर को अगर मैं छुटाए मैं जोड़ू हाई तरीजी हजार वहाँ इवोलूसन को रोचक भादा कि विधानाथ सर सुनी रख्स हाई इवोलूसन को शून्यता को दर्शन एकदम बड़ो चाहिए साइंस मिले सब कुछ शून्यता आन्यता बात को शून्यता सूर्य भोइनेस शून्यता एक शून्य होना शून्यता सब कुछ आन सकता सब कुछ शून्यतामें विलीन होने थ्योरी नागार्जुन को इस पर धे चाहिए एनालाइसि होने गर्व धे ग्रंथर तेस में नागार्जुन को मत एक सौ पच्चीसवटा कृति संबंधित शून्यता प्रकट होने शून्यतामें डिजल्व होना आने ये ब्रह्मांड बने जी ये सब शून्यता आगे भाई हमी नया नया चीज देख सब शून्यता आगे रिनेर सब फिर शून्यताम गए विलीन हो भोल्यूसन थिरी संग मिलने कुछ हो ये मैं जानकारी कराए फिर जी धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर अब हम सुरू को दुटा स्पीकर को यह जो स्पष्टीकरण रेसंग उठी विभिन्न कुछ हम धे अगड़ी बढ़ा चाहूँ क्योंकि न ये धेरे कुछ सान्दर्भिक धेरे कुछ छलफल कर इसको निके लमो समय का हमें आवश्यकता होता रामीसंग अज सशक्त दुईटा प्रस्तुति रहें धेरे महत्वपूर्ण छाला असाध मंत्रमुग्ध पारने प्रकृति का प्रस्तुति होने मेस को लगी अगड़ी अब दोहरिया चाहूँ खासगरी अब को प्रस्तुति को लगी लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय को जो डीन भी हो आदरणीय उकेशराज भुजू जो लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय को स्कूल अफ डेवलपमेंट स्टडिज एंड अप्लाइड साइंसेस का डीन हो रहा लमो समयदी ने सरकार को विभिन्न सेवा उच्च स्तर को अधिकृत लेवल को सेवा में कार्य करते असगरी यो प्रकृति वातावरण एग्रीकल्चर फॉरेस्ट्री को सैक्टर में लमो समय देखि योगदान दीदी आने भाई विद्वान हो रजक को वहाँ को प्रस्तुति बुद्धिजम रिविंग विथ नेचर भन्सेप्ट वहाँ को प्रस्तुति होना गई रखे रो प्रस्तुति को लगी अब समय पर हमें धेरे कम समय च्याप्त गई रखना अब म विलंब नगरिकन तेसरो प्रस्तुति को म आज का प्रस्तुत अनुरोध करना चाहिए नमस्कार नमस्कार टू एवरीबडी दिस इज आफ्टरनून इन काठमंडू मे बी इट इज इवनिंग इन कोरिया म्यानमार आई कैन सी प्रोफेसर क्वाक हियर एंड ऑल्सो हिज होलीनेस भिक्षु फ्रॉम म्यानमार आई ऑल्सो गॉट सम इन्फर्मेशन दैट वी हैव सम ऑडियंसेस From the New 
well, that is what we used to call the North America and South America. And also, I can see some people from South Asia. So, namaskar to everybody. As just now, our facilitator, Mr. Anindya Nyopane, has given. My topic is on applied science. And just now, we have come from the material science, as explained by Professor Soren Rajasari. And then uh, our venerable Pante from Myanmar has explained about the mind science. Now we are coming to apply science. How to apply all these materials and mind in our real life? I will try to give some of my ideas based on my slides. Let me share my slides here. Yes. Um, we are today on 1st of Ashwin, 2077, the eighth National Science Day we are celebrating. Coincidentally, I also come from Amit Science College, to which this Science Day is dedicated to. And my topic is uh, Buddhist Perspectives of Sustainable Livelihood, Living Together with Nature. I will cover, or I will try to cover three main points in my presentation. One is on tapoban, the concepts of tapoban. Secondly, saving life of all forms, that is our principle in our applied science. And then third one, nature conservation for sustainable livelihood. In the case of tapoban, there are many ideas, many concepts, and etymologically, these Two words, tapas and vana, have been combined to give the word tapoban, the place where you go for meditation, something very close to that. And geographically, there are two places in South Asia, one in Sri Lanka, one in India, where we have the place called tapoban. And in spirituality, our some of our holy people have actually spent their entire life, or most of their spiritual life in some places, and that place have become a tapoban in reality. For example, Shivapuri, where Sri Gobindananda Bharati has spent his 25 years, his last final 25 years, and similarly, Swami Sachidananda spent more than 50 years in Khattar, and both these people have earned the name like Shivapuri Baba and Khattar Baba. And these two places, Shibapuri and Kaptar, are actually Tapoban in respect to their life. And similarly, we have now Osho Tapoban near Nagarjun. And Nagarjun itself is a Tapoban dedicated to Buddha Nagarjun. And these are also some of our Tapoban where people go by the riverside like Devgad. Or you can even find tapoban under the cliff, like Parfing Sheshnaren, where you also get some meditation or spiritual feelings. And now, my point is that today we have to redefine the meaning of tapoban. Now, considering the UNESCO's different uh, UNESCO definition on biosphere reserve, biosphere reserve means the place where you protect every forms of life from insects to big mammals. And you will not disturb anything there. You just leave the place as it is so that you can see the evolution of life, everything. And this is where we call biosphere reserve. And for that, UNESCO has defined that it is the learning place for sustainable development. That means even the biosphere reserve has been referred to as a place where we can have sustainable development. And when you say sustainable development, it is related to human life or livelihood. And in the case of Nepal, we do not have biosphere reserve as such, but we have similar landscapes like protected areas or the national parks, conservation areas, wildlife reserves, and also Ramstar sites, or the wetland sites we can call them, and world heritage sites. These are also actually places where preserve all forms of life 
and we can now redefine them as tapoban, or we can call a national park a tapoban. And this is the place where Kaptar Baba spent his 50 years of life. And this is the place we call Kaptar National Park. And Hermitage of Kaptar Baba is still there. And because of his influence, people have actually admired this place and they are satisfied from their spiritual aspects. And also because of the local people's contribution here in the form of grazing, and people are getting sustainable livelihood from this pasture land. I'm trying to change this, yes. And this is the Chitwal National Park, which is also a World Heritage Site inscribed by UNESCO. And here also we can find many such spiritual shrines, such, like, such as Balmiki Ashram and Bikram Baba Ashram. And Bikram Baba is very, very famous in Chaitra. We have a festival there and thousands of people go there and worship to the sal tree or the natural forms of sal tree. And this is where we can see all kind of spiritual need we fulfill from there. And in the case of Sagarmatha National Park, this peak, Mount Everest or Sagarmatha, or we also call Chumulungma, is actually a spiritual point for everybody. The mountaineers go there, not just to reach the top of the mountain, but actually get some spiritual feeling, the happiness, the inner peace in their mind. People go for trekking, not just here, but in many parts of the country, and they get peace in their mind. That is why we can call these places as new forms of Tafuban. Go to Swainbu, where we have actually discovered more than 27 new types of plant species, new to science, way back in 1802, when Hamilton and his group actually discovered those areas. So these are the Tapuban, not just for religious purposes, also for botany or biology or environmental purposes as well. Definitely, Lumbini is a tapuban. It's a new form of tapuban because people come here and get peace and get cleanse their mind. And we have now 21 protected areas all over the country that includes 12 national parks, seven conservation areas, one hunting reserve, and one wildlife reserve. And all of them actually contain heritage sites or pilgrim sites, or you can say spiritual places or you can say religious sites where thousands of people go there every year or every 12 years, some places, and they pay homage and they get spiritual feelings or they get their say satisfaction from those places. So that is why we can call them a new form of tapoban. Now coming to saving life of all forms, this is a symbolic picture of Siddhartha and a Saras crane. And Lumbini is a habitat for Saras crane. And we have now three examples where we can see how we are saving life of all forms. One is Namo Buddha. The second one is Pal Shantan Cholingomba in Dolpa and Tengboche Monastery in Sagarmatha. And in the case of Namo Buddha, I think. Uh, most of us are familiar with the Jatak legend that a prince, yeah, that kingdom, was visiting the forest around Namo Buddha and he found that a tigress was starving to death. So he wanted to save the life of a tigress and her five cubs. This is the story there. So we all go there and pray Buddha and get spiritual feeling from that area. And this is the place where we call she, she Gomba, or she in Hokshindu National Park. This is the lake, the highest, almost the highest lake at about 13,000 feet altitude. And over here, the forces used to put a trap along the trail of musk deer so that they can kill the musk deer. But the local people used to remove those 
traps every time they will see. Later, the lo local people have decided that they will actually establish a monastery so that a monk will stay there 24 hours, seven days, or 12 months. And this is how they have actually, you know, avoided all those poachers from killing the Masdir. So this Gumba or this monastery is actually was established to save the Masdir or wildlife of that area. Now coming to Sagarmatha National Park, you can see our temple over here. This is Tengboche Gumba, Tengboche Monastery at the altitude of 13,500 feet. And behind this monastery, this is the background forest. It's called Forche. And that Forche forest is very famous for musk deer and many other high altitude wildlife. And because of the influence of this monastery, nobody actually think, even think about killing any animal. So that forest is a very good habitat or very good refuse for the wildlife. So the national park has been successful because of those monasteries in those high altitude. And also UNESCO team has actually discovered, they were, th they were thinking that the Mount Everest National Park will be very good area for landscape or natural forest only. But actually they discover very unique Sherpa culture and that is how they have noted like this. The presence of the Sherpas with their unique culture as for the interest in the sites. Now, my third point, nature conservation for sustainable livelihood. This is the symbolic picture that I draw from, I try to draw from our experience in Nepal. We have spiritual value connected with our lifestyle. And because of the spiritual values, we have monasteries, temples, shrines, religious forests, holy waters, and sacred landscapes. And in all these areas, we have saved life, we have conserved. That means we have national parks, we have conservation areas, we have buffer zone, community forests, heritage sites, Ramsar sites, and all these. And these are the new forms of nature conservation. And because of the nature conservation, we have now better ecosystem services in the forms of regulation, like climate change, we can have better, you know, say water supply, uh, soil formation, and also provisional services in the forms of biomass production, food production, medicinal herb production, timber production, then supporting materials like habitat for wildlife, habitat for people, and also many other natural system. Then the cultural system that is recreational, educational, spiritual, that includes actually tourism and education as well. So we are getting, uh, say, ecosystem services from nature conservation that was possible because of spiritual values. And because we have no ecosystem services, our livelihood has become sustainable. So this particular case has been possible again with some of our policies. And one policy is about the buffer zone. Under this buffer zone policy that was adopted in 1992, under this, we have this very interesting and very powerful statement here, up to 30 to 50% of the amounts earned by a national park or a reserve or a conservation area may be expended in coordination with the local authorities for community development of local people. So because of this particular policy, now our people are getting government allocation in terms of budget in the buffer zone areas. For example, from the fiscal year 2069 to 2075 in the seven year period, the average buffer zone budget was 36% of the total revenue of the national parks. And minimum was 11% in the beginning and maximum was in 2074-75, okay? So these are the, you know, reality we have. And because we have protection, because we are conservation, our people are getting community development programs and their life have been sustainable. And let us talk about the Sherpa communities, particularly in the case of Salamatha National Park, because of the conservation in the area, there are more than 50,000 
tourists or trekkers and mountaineers visit the area and the local people, especially Sherpas, earn as much as seven or eight times more than the average Nepali do per year. So this is the way we are getting. And all these ideas, the concepts of tapoban, concepts of conservation, livelihood, we are trying to integrate in our three programs, Master in Agroforestry, in which we try to incorporate tapoban concepts. For that, we will have natural resource management, extension education, cooperative research. Also, in the case of Master in Development Studies, we'll have a contextualized perception of Sangha system for sustainable development. We'll also discuss develop contemporary development theories and practices, and also entrepreneurship research. And in the case of Master in Environmental Studies, we'll talk about evolving environment on Buddha's life, how Buddha's life was connected with environment. And we will also discuss contemporary science of ecology, socioeconomics, environmental policy, awareness and movements and everything. And definitely in these programs, we will also study, or we will also offer courses like Buddhist ecology, Buddhist economy, and all those programs. And in conclusion, we, th we think now we have to redefine Tapoban in the forms of protected areas, Ramsar sites, or heritage sites, from where we can draw our livelihood on a sustainable manner. And spiritually, we can also protect our nature. As long as we have spiritual value, we will never disturb the nature. So Buddhist philosophy and other philosophy are very strong. We have to incorporate it in our nature conservation programs. Then we will have ecosystem services in the forms of provisional regulation, supporting and culture that will eventually help not just the local inhabitants, but also people visiting there, all the visitors. And this is the conclusion that we are having this interconnection between spiritual values, nature conservation, ecosystem services, and livelihood. Thank you very much. And this is a picture on the way to Namche Bazaar from Lukla. And there is a forest nursery where we are actually promoting afforestation in that area. And that is one of the success stories. Now that the area has got a very powerful and very dynamic active community forest program in that buffer zone area. Sabba Bhavatu, Mangalam, Dhanyabad, Namaskar to everybody. Thank you, Dean Sir. Thank you so much for very, very interesting presentation. Yeah, you have highlighted how Buddhism can be incorporated in conservation of nature and hence how nature protect us. Yeah, the basic thing, Tapovan, the concept of Tapovan, the ecosystem and sustainable livelihood. livelihood. Very important ideas has been shared to us. Thank you so much for your very nice presentation. And now we have another speaker for our today's webinar session. And he is Dr. Nima Chiring Nepali. Mr. Dr. Chiring Nepali is the principal for Asova Rikpa College, which is an affiliated program under Lumini Buddhist University. And this program is being conducted in Kathmandu. And uh, Dr. Nepali has been working as, acting as a medical doctor. And okay, he has been uh, uh, checking people and then providing medical services to many people uh, through the classic <coughs> technique, Sova Rikpa. Now, in this session, I would like to request Dr. Nepali for his presentation. Okay, Dr. Saab, welcome. Uh, namaste. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I try to share my. Okay, namaste. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, <clears throat> respected to honorable chief guests of the webinar on Buddhism and science, uh, honorable Mr. Sudarshan Bara, Minister of uh, Social Development and Dignitaries. 
uh, distinguished guests, scholars, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my uh, pleasure and privilege to be part of this uh, webinar. The theme of my topic uh, is sorry for perspective on the mental health. Okay, so Swaripa or Swaripa or Chiki Savitya is uh, considered to be uh, one of the world oldest uh, surviving medical tradition. Uh, today, in both sides of the Himalayan bordering regions, as a result of its popularity and flourishing in those areas as well. So, people in uh, living in that part of the world, the faith and dependency in medical need is far greater on traditional medicine than on its allopathic counterpart. So this presentation is an attempt to present a general picture of uh, mental health and a mind-body relationship from, uh, from this system of uh, medicine. So uh, Swaranipa medicine is a science, it's an art, and it's a philosophy. Uh, that provide a holistic approach to healthcare and aims to secure a physical, mental, and the spiritual health of, of an individual. Uh, the relationship between the Buddhism and the Swaripa med uh, medicine is innate and extraordinary. It is a science. Uh, it is a science because it, uh, its principles are explained and are arranged in a very systematic and um, methodical and uh, logical framework that was based on the uh, understanding of our, our human body and mind and its relationship to the microcosmic world. And uh, Swarigva is also ca called as an art because it uses the diagnostic means uh, based on the creativity, insight, and a compassion of the Lord Buddha. And it is, it is also called as a philosophy because it embraces the key to Buddhist principles of altruism, uh, the law of karma, the law of dependency. I can't go for the next. Okay. So sorry, but medicine is a unique in itself and holds the medical essence of all the neighboring countries. The positive aspect of the Indian Ayurveda, Chinese medical system, uh, Greek medical system, and the practice of Nepal are incorporated into the core of Swaripa medicine. So this is uh, basically why it has become a very profound and a rich medical system. The practical application of the lure found in the four treaties or four tantra, which is considered to be the principal and a most authentic text of the Swaripa medicine is no difference from the teaching of the Buddha. The text clearly says <clears throat> that the complete study and the perfect application of the knowledge found in, in this science of healing will cut all the mental affliction, prevent suffering and rebirth in the vicious circle of uh, samsara. Buddha himself spoke of an ultimate truth in terms of the medical analogy. It has been said that the entire teaching of uh, Buddha is how to prevent suffering, so which we have already been discussing in the previous presenters also. So according to the Buddha, we suffer from inherent frustration of a conditioned existence. And our suffering is caused by the fact of impermanence of all entities and by the endless craving that arises from the basis Delusion of ego and self existent. So, according to this sort of a medical science, all kind of the physical and mental suffering arises fundamentally from the delusion. So, delusion plays a very important role here. They simply unfold as aftermath of our own delusion and negative karmic action and prompted by untamed state of mind. So in Swaripa medicine, 
explains that the dilution is considered to be the root cause of the rebirth in the misery of the cycl cyclonic existence, as well as the cause of the physical and the mental illnesses. So without dilution, even karmic action would not have the power to hurt the sentient beings into an unceasing uh, cycle of karmic impermanence, rebirth, and suffering like the, the burnt seed. So Lord Buddha taught, suffering is experienced due to ignorance arising by not recognizing the meaning of the selflessness. So <clears throat> here the selflessness is very important uh, concept. So this inner enemy has no positive quality at all, the concept of selflessness. It is only to be fought and destroyed. So Soriba Medical Theory states that the three mental poisons, which are considered to be a desire, hatred, and ignorance. So these three uh, mental po uh, poisons are considered to be the root of, of a delusion. So these three mental poisons may be explained here in the context of the Buddhist philosophy. The first one is the desire. So desire has its root in the fundamental delusion. In other words, the echo of our mind. So it distorts all virtues. All of us have a very strong desire for a beautiful object or a very ple pleasurable experiences. Uh, the failure to achieve these desires will lead to a mental tension, anxiety, depression, delirium, and other mental disorders. So human desires and achieve attachments are insensible. So they like to live long to experience the pleasure of life. When they fail to achieve this selfish desire, they undergo stress, anxiety, depression, and even suicide. So craving has the same quality as a wind humor. So having said that in Abhidharma also, it talks about the concept of the elements. So Swarupa medicine is basically built on the concept of four or five elements. So here <coughs> we said that the craving, it has the same quality of the wind element. So the people suffering from the wind type are dominated by attachment and leads to the, uh, the lung human disease. So this is also a very common concept, the concept of wind. Because when we talk about the Chinese medicine, they talk about the qi. So based on the qi, one can see that there are so many, you know, different mode of exercise or practice like qi kong, tai qi. So when you look at the Indian Ayurveda, we can see that, you know, the vata, so based on the, the concept of vata, there are so many different uh, <clears throat> uh, practice of uh, breathing exercise and different practices. And if you, if, even in the, in the Himalayan regions, we have the concept of the lung. That, so based on that, one can see that there are so many different types of practices. So all these uh, meditators who stay in the hermit, so they were basically regulating the, the prana concept. So, the second one is the hatred. <clears throat> hatred also originates from the cheap delusion and distort the reality. It leads to the fame of anger towards those who annoy us. It is very untamed state of mind and very uncivilized, very rude and very uneven. So this uh, mental factor, it increases the tipa that is called as the bile or is the fire element, which produces the heat energy and temperature that leads to the frustration, anxiety, depression, worries, even the burnt, burn the heart. The disturbance of this element produce dearrange the energies and also result fails the function of determining the bile mechanism of the human body to make the decision. Hence, it weakens the heart and the memory. So when someone is under sway of anger, one loses the characteristic of human being and become different from, from the wild bulls and um, the elephant. So this uh, mental uh, mechanism is associated to that of the snake. Now the third one is the ignorance. So ignorance also has its root in the chief of the delusion. So since having said that any kind of mental affliction, it comes from the delusion, the concept of delusion. So due to the delusion, so people ignorantly engage in intels in unwholesome lifestyle, unvicious activities, like clinging to a wrong views and falling to a distinguished you know, good from bad. This causes instability of mind 
and physical discomfort. So ignorance has a same dark and heavy, heavy characteristic as the, you know, the last two elements, the earth and the water element. So the people of this uh, nature type are very closely associated with ignorance. And in the Swaripa text, ignorance is symbolized by a pig, which is often seen as a very ignorant animal. So it is believed that and practice to be proven that ignorance gives rise to the, 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 you know, the last element of the beckon or the, the flame. So beside these three mental poisons, the primary cause of the uh, human, physical human sufferings are said to be dis disturbed by three basic energies that is called as the, the wind, the fire element, and the last two elements. So this is also common with the Ayurvedic medicine because you know the same concept that was you know explained in the three vadas like vata, pitta, and kapha. So three doshas. So but the explanation is is there is a lot of dissimilarities. So in general, the <coughs> the loom or the wind energy that is corresponding to the the air, the second element that is called as the, the pitta or chipa that is more corresponding to the five elements. And the last that is called as the beckon or the kapha that is more corresponding to the earth and the water elements. So according to the functions of these three principles, the energy to maintain the harmony between hot and cold. So this is the, the essence of the, the, the medicine of the sort of medicine in terms of the treatment, in terms of the diagnosis, in terms of the, the, the basic fundamental details. So the state of health in sort of medicine. So these are the three, these is, so for a person, the three humors plays a very important role. So we say that it, so in short, what we can say is that the health of the physical or mental health can be understood as the equilibrium. So once, you know, these three humors and seven body constituents and three excretions are in equilibrium, then one can say that he is a healthy man. So the relationship between the mind and the body can be explained from many different dimensions. In Swarupa literature, it is clearly explained as the non-defeatic non semen and the open parents. And the assemble of the five elements that causes the conception. So from the above explanation, what we come to know is that illnesses is a sign of imbalance between the internal microcosm and external microcosm, which is basically brought about by failure to understand the meaning of selflessness or clinging to the inherent uh, self-existing. So to overcome these sufferings, one has to tackle to at a very practical level with the different means like meditation, uh, we just act under the guidance of proper master to search for its truth. Though we have a tremendous development in the material facilities, but utmost desire like peace of mind, happiness, wisdom, and freedoms from the illnesses is missing. So instead of instead we see our world filled with the conflict, uh, disharmony, war, environment, destruction, and social de deterioration. So it's time now to knock the door to watch ourselves and look into the mind uh, rather than outside. So only through the study of the mind and its proper training, we can attain the Buddha Jita or the alternate, uh, the Nirvana would lead us to the happiness of the physical uh, health. So these are the, some of the slides which uh, depicts the, uh, the, some of the methods that uh, we use in the Swarupa medicine. For example, in case of the somatic medicines, so basically we, uh, in any kind of uh, circumstances or any kind of complication, we basically use the diet as the first remedy measures. Then we, uh, we, we need to correct the lifestyles because these are the two basic uh, hindrance that causes the problem. Then we have the, uh, we use the herbal medicines. Then, if, if, then for more adverse, conditions, then we use the external therapy with so many different external therapies like Moksa therapy and the, you know, all kind of. Then again, uh, in Swarupa medicine, the tantric 
also plays a very important role because uh, in the history of Saurabha medicine, Saurabha was basically practiced by the tantric practitioners, especially the, the yogis. So somehow Saurabha medicine is so rich in the concept of the, the tantric uh, the remedy measures. For example, like the breathing techniques, visualization meditation, and the mantra healings, then the different types of rituals, which is also associated with the, the astro science. Then we have the uh, spiritual medicine. So then in terms of the practice of the Dharma, so having said that Saurabha is inseparable from the, uh, the, the teaching of Buddha, so it's important that we have to cure the three mental poisons. Then, we, uh, then if you go for the High Yoga Tantra, then it, it also talks about the, the concept of uh, the concept with the, the practice that is related with the more advanced level. So which is a little bit uh, difficult to accept from the, the Sutra perspective. Then we talk about the ener uh, energetic uh, channels. So we talk about the different chakras. So each chakra is resonated with, this, with the different uh, the problems. So these are the some of the chakras that needs to be cleared out. Then as far as the mental disorder is concerned, then uh, the wind energy plays a very important role. So there was a, they were saying that uh, the wind energy or the water, it is, uh, it is associated with the horse, then the, our, the consciousness of the mind is a man, a blind man who is wearing the horse. So, so to reach certain place, we need to go with the, the parallel to these two with the, without disturbing. Then the practice of the different nati is also uh, prescribed in Saurabha medicine. Then, especially in uh, Saurabha medicine, was, the most authentic text was uh, categorized into four different categories. The third tantra or third treaty, in that it talks about the different classification spirit. So spirit also plays an important role in certain extent. Because in Saurabha medicine, we say that uh, when we put all the disease, we can put into 404 different types of disease. So first, 101 disease is a miscellaneous disease. A disease, for example, a common cold. So for that, we don't need any medicine. So it's up to our immune system. Then the, another 101 disease is the, you know, a disease related to the karmic imprint. So we say that these are the disease that is because of our imp, uh, the karmic deed. So sometimes some rare cancers are also considered to be a karmic disease because even though we have the best doctors or best facilities, sometimes there is no cure. So that is considered to be a karmic disease. For such things, uh, there is uh, another things to be done apart from the medicine. Then 101 disease that is considered as uh, the <clears throat> somatic disease. So for that, we, we have the treatment you know, for, uh, from the medical perspective. Then the 101 disease that is called as a disease due to evil spirit. So we consider that e, the, the spirit also plays an important role. So in this particular text, it talks about the spirit in, in uh, so many different dimensions. Then, then it's all the, the done is also uh, same as the spirit. So, certain your presentation, please. Okay. So yeah, then, <clears throat> so, so likewise, uh, as far as the mind is, consciousness is concerned, so we have to look from outer level, that is the five sense, which is which was uh, basically described in Abhidharma Gosa, and also the intermediate, that is the uh, that is related more to the emotional concept. Then last level, that is the root cause. Then this is also very important. So the overall the concept of the interdependence is very important. This was also you know discussed in the concept of Shunada. So. So these do, in, in today's time, the, especially the modern, uh, the physicists, they said that in subatomic level is a void nature. So we, which is, which was, uh, you know, like was described by the Buddha in a long time, long period of time. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Dr. Nimar Chiring Nepali. For your very nice presentation. Really, there is amazing, invaluable okay, treasure is there in okay, Buddhism. Thank you for your sharing. We hope that our participants, they enjoyed it and they learned many things from it. And basically, they got inspiration from it. Okay, now, Abha Ku Amru Karikram Ma, Yo Aili Samma Aayko Presentation Ma, Yo Kei Sabagi Rule, Aapna Jigya Sari Rahna Sakhnunza Ma, Sukrama Sarva Pratham, 
आज को हम कार्यक्रम को एक शोभा बनेर उपस्थित हो प्रदेश नंबर तीन का सभामुख माननीय सानु सुंदर श्रेष्ठजी जो लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय को एक आकर्षण होगा भी आज कार्यक्रम में वहाँ को महत्वपूर्ण उपस्थित रहे म सभामुखजी माननीय सानू कुमार श्रेष्ठजी दुई मिनट भि अम को प्रस्तुति के सन्दर्भ में अथवा इंटायर अलीसम के समग्र विषय में आपका कई विचार राखीदी होना का हार्दिक अनुरोध करदु ते पी हमी सग कई मत वक्ता समय अब धे गईस हमी छोटकरी में कार्यक्रम समापन कर जो हमी मज प्रोफेसर वहाँ का विचार सुन्न हमी पर्ने तेस कारण हम सब हमारा सहभागी हमी संगे रहना को हार्दिक अनुरोध भी कर नमस्कार आज को इस आठ राष्ट्रीय विज को आयोजन कार्यक्रम निक महत्वपूर्ण सारगर्वित लगे वास्तव में गौतम बुद्ध लुन दृष्टिकोण राजनीति हेराखे साँचक बुद्ध राजनीतिक राजनेता हो कि भग्न सकता कि वहाँ के विभेद अंत करने जातीय विभेद देखि लंत करने एटा सामाजिक अभियंता हेराखे एटा विवेक जस्तु मैं एट जेन्डर बैलेन्स को वहाँ आज भाई छब्बीस सौ वर्ष अगर नहीं सुरुआत कारण वहाँ एट सामजिक अभियंता को रूप में देखने सकता एवं वैज्ञानिक को हिसाब किताब हेरा खेल कज एंड इफेक्ट को वहाँ के मैं तब को एटा सारा विज्ञान को प्रस्तुत कर जो नजर ने हेराखे होने स्थिति आज को इस कार्यक्रम में हम प्रोफेसर विद्याधर कोईरालाजी ने सिली क्वेश्चन वहाँ सातवटा क्वेश्चन सर सा इंट्रेस्टिंग लगे रटा क्वेश्चन को जवाब सातौ में छे मैं लग रो बारे में मैं वहाँस छलफल कर पाए सायद मैं ज्ञान होता तो आज को ये कार्यक्रम मैं एटा सा सारगर्वित रहत्वपूर्ण रामी सहभागिता धेरे कुछ सीक्न पा चार जना प्रस्तुत विद्युत वर्ग ने प्रस्तुत कार्यक्रम सारे उपलब्धि मूलक रे मैं रोचक रही आनंददायी भाई मेरे भनाई चुंगे धन्यवाद नमस्कार माननीय सभामुख जी हजर को विचार को लगी यहाँ को सहभागिता को लगी नहीं हमी धीरे धीरे आभार छो वास्तव में सुरू देखि नहीं कार्यक्रम सुरू होता देखि नहीं बहुत जो उत्साह का साथ यहाँ उपस्थित भैदि भो यहाँ देश को राजनीति बुझ्न भाग देश बुझ्न भाग धेरे कुछ बुझ्न भाषा रहा बुद्ध दर्शन प्रति यहाँ को जो लगाव छ आकर्षण छ निष्ठा छी हाईली रिगार्ड करना चाहूँ र यहाँ के छोटकरी में समय सीमा भी आपको विचार राखदि इसको धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद अब हमी हमी मज समय धेरे घड़क सकते अब हमारा धेरे वक्ता हम प्रस्तुत प्रस्तुति दी सकूक रहाँ को प्रस्तुति के विषय में कुछ प्रस्तु कुछ सहभागी जिज्ञासा भाई में तो जिज्ञासा यहाँ छोड़ना भी सकूँ यही फोरम में मत हो अन्त्र भी सोन सकू हमी बुद्धिज्म को सैक्टर में इंट्रेस्ट राख्ने मानसर ने धेरे छेन र आपसी भी छलफल करें अगि पी हमें हमारा जिज्ञासा राखे तेज को समाधान कर सकता अब को कार्यक्रम में मैसम को प्रस्तुति के सन्दर्भ में आप्ना के प्रतिक्रिया दून रहा कई भनाई राखीद होना को लगी त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय बौद्ध अध्ययन विभाग का प्रमुख श्री वेदराज गेवालीजी मो विचार राखीद होना को हार्दिक अनुरोध कर धन्यवाद छेन्द्र सर लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय द्वारा आयोजना कर विशेषगरी केन्द्रीय कैंपस द्वारा आयोजना कर इस वेबिनार में बौद्ध अध्ययन केन्द्रीय विभाग को तर्फवा सहभागी होने जो मौका दूंभ इसको मयोजक धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ यो कार्यक्रम में 
लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय का उपकुलपति जीव र प्रदेश नंबर तीन का सभामुख पनी महिले सवागी भागो देखें तेजी करे प्रदेश नंबर पांच का मंत्री जीव अने लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय का रजिस्टार डीन जीव औरू र अनुसंधान केंद्र का प्रमुख कार्यपत्र प्रस्तुता सर और यहाँ सहभागी संपूर्ण सर और अथवा सहभागी बौद्ध अध्ययन केन्द्र विभाग को तर्फ हार्दिक नमस्कार करना चाहूँ रज को यह जो कार्यक्रम छू में प्राविधिक कारण करीब करीब चालीस मिनट तीस मिनट देखि चालीस मिनटसम म प्रवेश करें पाइन तेसर्थ में सुरू को अवस्था में के भो भैं सुन्न सहभागी होना नपा अवस्था भो रेस पच्चीस विशेषगरी डाक्टर सुरेन्द्रमान बज्राचार्य को कार्यपत्र जो पेलो कार्यपत्र हो मैं यहाँ सहभागी होने मौका पाए रि कार्यपत्र जी विचार प्रस्तुत करिए धर महत्वपूर्ण धर गहन विचार प्रस्तुत कर विचार प्रस्तुता कार्यपत्र प्रस्तुता बधाई दिन चाहूँ धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ र अब जहांसम यो आज को कार्यक्रम प्रति को टिप्पणी को जो सवाल छे जो कि संगकट हम सिंगो मानव जाति हम देश के हमी नेपाली जो संगकट बेहरी रहो संगकट को बेला में हमी हमारा ज्ञान का विधा हमारा विषय को तर्फवा ती संगकट सधान को सन्दर्भ में के कंट्रिब्यूसन कर सकता भन्ने सन्दर्भ नहीं आज को प्रमुख संदर्भ हो जस्तु मैं लग हमी बौद्ध धर्म दर्शन को इतिहास हेखे बौद्ध धर्म दर्शन को विस तीखे बड़ी तीव्रतापूर्वक भक्त देखि जी खेर मानव समाज में अनेक किसिम का भौतिक तथा सामाजिक अशांति रंकट बढ़ा चाहे चाइना को इतिहास बुद्ध धर्म को इतिहास हर चाहे थाईलैंड को बौद्ध धर्म को इतिहास हर चाहे सम्राट अशोक को पाला में बुद्ध धर्म फैलि सन्दर्भ र तत्कालीन समाज में रहे द्वंद्व को अवस्था हरों तो हमीर के देखा भादा खेल बौद्ध धर्म ने तीती खेर बड़ी तीव्रतापूर्वक विस जी खेर सामज संगकट में पड़े थी रो संगकट को सधान को एटा उपाय बुद्ध धर्म ने प्रस्तुत कर सकते थी तेगरी अंगो मानव जाति यो स्वास्थ्य समस्या मात्र है स्वास्थ्य समस्या को कारण नया किसिम का सामाजिक द्वंद्व उत्पन्न होने अवस्था में प्रवेश यो अवस्था में बुद्ध धर्म ने बौद्ध दर्शन ने या बौद्ध अध्ययन ने अलग को संगकट सधान करना को लगी नया तरीका नया उपाय प्रस्तुत कर सको बौद्ध धर्म दर्शन को उन्नयन में इसलिए ठूल भूमिका खेलने भाई मैं लग इस हमी बौद्ध अध्ययन को पठन पाठन भैर काठमंडो यूनिवर्सिटी हो या संस्कृत विश्वविद्यालय हो या त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय या लुम्बिनी बौद्ध विश्वविद्यालय हो सब हमी मिले समन्वय कर एक आपस में आदान प्रदान करम करने रनव जाति हम देश के हम सज के बेहरी रहो संगकट को सधान को सन्दर्भ में बौद्ध दर धर्म दर्शन को तर्फवा आइडिया जेनरेट करने नलेज जेनरेट करने कुछ में हम मिले जानू पर्च इस जो कार्यक्रम करू बौद्ध अध्ययन बोला इसको लगी म धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ रेगरी बौद्ध अध्ययन केन्द्र विभाग ने हर एक शुक्रवार बिहान सात बजे देखि नौ बजेसम ये कार्यक्रम करते आई भोलि बिहान सात बजे देखि नौ बजेसम हमी कार्यक्रम करते में हम अंग्रेजी को प्रोफेसर अभि सुवेदी सर बोला छो तेसर्थ में मैं ईमेल पठाक छु सब को लगी असरी बोलने मौका में निमंत्रण करना चाहूँ मौका दूंभ इस आयोजक धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ सुनीदि भो इस में श्रोतागण धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ रचार प्रस्तुता प्रस्तुत करने विचार प्रस्तुता हार्दिक बधाई दिन चाहूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद सर सर ने समय सीमा भि धर गहन विचार राखीदी भो वास्तव में वास्तव हो हमी एक अर् का फोरम में उपस्थित भर कार्यक्रम सुन्ने रही के विषम परिस्थिति में हमी हमीस उपलब्ध भे जे जस्ता मीडिया तीन के मध्यम हमें डिस्कसन चिंतन मनन कर अगड़ी बढ़ु पर्ने आवश्यकता हो ये बारे में विचार राख्भ में 
समय दे देता निवास है। Okay, now, now we have entered into a mode. In this mode, we would like to again welcome our a distinguished visiting professor, Professor Dr. Kwak Young Hun. Young Hun. So we are so highly. Namaste. Namaste. Trust with your presence here, and we are so eager to listen from you. We are so sorry that we made you wait for so long time. So it was because because uh, we made you to hear all okay from all our presenters, and then we would listen from your final okay remarks and conclusion. That it was the real reason. Okay. You know, you know, this is nine o'clock in yeah, Seoul okay. time. Three hours earlier. So uh, let me come in now, if you allow me. Yeah. Namaste, first of all, to everybody. And you are just wonderful people. And humanity needs you very much. I want to congratulate, first of all, the Lumbini Buddhist University to have this applied Buddhism and science webinar in this particular epoch of human history. As we all are in now, humanity has never experienced this kind of pandemic. COVID-19, coronavirus disease 19 pandemic is really affecting everybody. And world wants some solutions. And Lumbini Buddhist University is having this web, webinar talking about what to do from Buddhist point of view. All the science and all the civilizational uh, wisdom has touched the limit and world needs you. So it is very relevant time. And I really want to congratulate Vice Chancellor and my colleague there. Um, the world is asking four questions nowadays. Where are we? Where is humanity today? Number two, where do you go from here? Number three questions, how do we get there? And number four, with whom do you go? Are the questions. I would say Buddhism has come into the picture. Um, I have learned from your presentation, Abhidharma is so relevant. And I also heard Sova Rigla, Rigpa, so relevant. And the Buju, Dr. Buju is talking about uh, various tourism oriented sustainable development is also very, very relevant. I've learned a lot. World wants you because they don't want you to talk the talk. They want you to walk the talk. This is very important matter. And you can walk the talk at least three things I can tell you. Number one, if you can see this closely, can you see it? It's difficult, right? This is a map from Kapilvastu, Rupendei to Nawalparasi, from Kudan, Godihawa, Niglihawa to Lumbini and Devdaha and Ramgram. The, the path that connects them in the time of Buddha and a little after should be rediscovered. It should be rediscovered for people in the world to come and walk as pilgrims, to have all the Dharma you are talking about, spiritually, mentally, and otherwise. This ought to be done. You gotta walk the talk. You gotta do collectively. 
by reading your descriptions, I what caught me was two things. The problem usually was a personal problems, but now we have collective problems. Collective problems we have to tackle. Number two, not by not by talking, but by collective action, the action together, social obligation is there. And we ought to make these particular pilgrimage path from Nigelihawa to Ramgram to be done. That's number one. You ought, we have to work on it so that people in the world from New York, Paris, London, Tokyo, and Seoul, everywhere else could come and listen to you, and listen to the, the, the uh, earth, listen to the crane, listen to all the ecology you're talking about. The second walk the talk you gotta do, my dear friends, is to make Dharma ring of Lumbini PhD, Peace and Harmony District, to be completed. This is where all the science you're talking about from metaphysics, physics, and you talked about uh, mental, the Sowa, uh, Ripa, Ripa, and all the Abhidharma, and all the other things you talked about. And with help of other countries, uh, the science scientific field in this area should come and cohere and to have a Dharma Ring campus. It's been already designed and it is to be done. If it was done today, I think people would come to you to learn more. And then you talked about learning place, but I'm talking about living place. Lumbini PhD is a place where people in the world could come together to live together, to learn together how to live together. It's not talk, it's a place where Nepali could teach day by day. This ought to be done. There's a second project we ought to work on. Third one is in Devdaha, where Lumbini Buddhist University will have another campus. I'm sorry, I don't, you cannot see it too well, but this is one Sangha shape and size of Lumbini PhD to put in Devdaha side as one Sangha, where schools of medicine, the uh, SOA, uh, you, you said the rugby sort of a perspective, the things, and, and then the agro forest country, uh, forest uh, schools, and also design schools are all to be campused. Lumbini Buddhist University should at least have we have talked about that with chancellors and all the others, School of Mental Health, which you talked about today, in relationship to metaphysics and physics and mental and materiality. Material mattered in the civilization until today, but material should not be the only matters, mind matters, and this ought to be taught here in Devdaha. Number two, a school of environmental and design. This should be Ekodama school, Ekodama designer school. Not just designed and built in Kathmandu somewhere and you can everywhere else in the world, which is not sustainable at all. If students and teachers are coming, practitioners are coming to Lumbini Buddhist University Devdaha campus, and stay in the school of Ekodama Design School, they will learn how to be 
sustainable, how to relate to other people in harmony. That's very important. Today, also the third element is Pax Dharma School, Pax Dharma School. I'm deliberately putting Dharma in it, Pax Dharma, Eco Dharma. And, then, and this, this one is a Dharma sort of a mind school. So that this kind of school and has should have an alliance with Dongguk University in Korea or Peace University in Costa Rica and some other university and collaborate together. This ought to be carried out. This can be done collectively as your webinar states. We are concerned together. We want to talk together to find out solutions. We have solutions. We have to work. We have to walk the talk, as I mentioned before. This is what we have to do. You People need you. Korean cannot really come up with solutions. They are too much into material uh, accumulation interest. Other Western countries, you know the difficulty. The big countries like China, India, which you your neighbors, you cannot expect that this kind of idea comes where mind matters, not material matters, mind matters could come from Nepal, where Lumbini is, Devda is, Kapil Bastu is, and all that. You have a place where people could come to live together, to learn together how to live together. Please make it in never ending peace and love country, Nepal. I am so happy to be part of this webinar, to learn from you. And this is already more than nine o'clock. So I'm going to say goodbye to you, unless you have questions. Dhanabad, thank you very much. All the best to every one of you. You know, incidentally, this one is a Bodhi tree, only one in Korea. I got this seed from Shravasti, India. And then this sibling, little sibling, was in Lumbini campus where I can see uh, the, some, the background of it. I took some pictures with the uh, chancellors and everybody else. And it is now grown up like this and I have to find place, a temple where this can grow like one in, in the, the uh, Bodh Gaya and Shravasti and other places. See, this is, this is a very unique one. It grows so well with my love and with my water, with my soil. I'm so happy to be with, with it. I just want to show it to you and all the best in this particular juncture of human history. This is most relevant time because we are in Kobina 19, para pandemic epoch, post pandemic epoch should be a new one where mind matters. When mind matters, not material matters. Abhidharma, wonderful, eco, Dharma, wonderful. Eco medical schools, wonderful. Please let us work together collectively to get fundings in the world to make it realized. Then they could come and learn from you. I want to thank you very much. Yes. Thank you so much, Professor, for your thank you. Thank you. very heart touching and insightful remarks. Okay, now I would like to uh, request Vice Chancellor of Lumini Buddhist University, Professor Dr. Ride Ratnabajaracharya, for his concluding remarks and uh, paying vote of, vote of thanks to all the participants and all the presenters and all our well wishers and for all the activities what has been happened this evening. Okay, sir, you are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> program went so nicely. <clears throat>
the participation of such a others gathering. The program becomes success because of the participation. This has today's uh, webinar is a very good example of uh, being you know, this this uh, this point to everybody's mind uh, because it is already lit as I can see uh, and uh, reminded by Professor Kwak that it is nine o'clock already in Korea. Imagine it must be uh, around uh, what twelve hours. Uh, other side, there are participants from Canada or uh, South America, uh, and and yet uh, the friends from there they have joined us, stayed with us. It's a wonderful. It is really uh, the concern and the love for what uh, Buddha taught us, and uh, and the zeal to find solution for today's world. I quote Professor Kwak, who said, "This is the." right moment to look for new world, new way of living, new way of thinking, new way for living. So it's very important. And there, I think we may have a space for Nepal. This is opportunity space we can create to really lead in that direction with the support of Buddha's teachings and blessings. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Kwak. And uh, thank you to all the participants. Most important, grateful thanks to the uh, Honorable Minister, who despite his very tight schedule, sent his message at least to give with us, you know, giving us all his, uh, his feelings and his uh, insights. And thanks to a very, very hearty thanks and grateful thanks to the Minister of Social Development, Province Number Five, Mr. Uh, Sudarshan Bral. He has been so kind to work with us with Lumini Buddhist University. He has been supporting us in running our program. We have run program in collaboration uh, to create to support the need of the Province Five. Uh, we have run BA LLB program, law program in collaboration with Province 5. We are talking about collaboration in Devdaha. Uh, I think it will be uh, good news for Professor Kwak too to uh, hear that Province 5 is interested uh, in, in getting engaged in this um, uh, Devdaha project. Uh, and I'm so happy that you have shown the chart about what kind of program uh, and what kind of uh, development, what kind of you know, uh, design, um, that should be in Devdaha. Uh, we are we are always uh, looking for your good advice and suggestions. Actually, uh, we we wish to be in touch with you more closely, but because of this uh, COVID, uh, our program, our academic programs, they have been disturbed. Our daily lives, they have been disturbed. So we have been struggling to keep up with this situation. So we will keep in touch with you and be with you again. But all in all these uh, aspect. Province, I we are very grateful to Province Five government, including the Chief Minister of the Province Five, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Sankar Pokrel, who has uh, given us kind of support in research as well as you know uh, have instigated us to come up with more program to work together, uh, and also with the, um, uh, with the with the with the other ministries, including the Ministry of Social Development as well as Ministry of um, uh, culture, tourism, and uh, the other, other um, you know, development ministries. Uh, so, <clears throat> thank you all to the ministers uh, who have taken their time despite their tight schedule uh, for, for being with us. And <clears throat> uh, thank you very much for the uh, dignitaries who are here, including our uh, Sanu, Sanu Kumar Sreshta, uh, despite his very uh, tight schedule, he has stayed with us <coughs> all along for the whole program. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for our paper presenters. It's a wonderful paper. Uh, it has opened our eyes in four dimensions. Of course, there are more dimensions, but these four dimensions, they capture 
most of the other dimensions, part of the other dimensions as well. And it has, I'm very sure that it has uh, opened up more interest. It has created more interest uh, among, our, um, among our participants. And through our participants, I hope they will be working as kind of, you know, uh, our uh, goodwill um, ambassadors for Lumini University to reach out to the world, to reach out to the other friends and uh, uh, colleagues and friends, and also students. Uh, I would like to <coughs> use this forum to also remind everybody here that uh, um, uh, our Dean, Okesh Buzu, he has already uh, developed the curriculum for the three programs, and uh, he has uh, also um, drafted announcement for inviting students, prospective students to join us. Not only students, but also all uh, academicians and, uh, and, uh, and the scholars and academics uh, to come forward to contribute in the development of uh, the resource material. We are creating books. We are not buying books for the, um, for the, for the program. We are creating books and he has invited very innovative, uh, innovatively he has invited scholars to come forward for contribution in the building of that book, chapter by chapter. So <clears throat> we are looking forward for the uh, prospective students to join, and we are looking forward for the scholars and academicians who wish to associate, get associated with our program to be with us. Uh, so uh, thanks to Ukesh sir for um, coming to this stage. Of course, uh, thanks to all uh, four paper, paper presenters. Uh, Surendra sir, he has so nicely presented Buddhism and the science, the essence of Buddhism and the essence of science. You know, this reminded me of the science development. See, Aristotle was the scientist in the Western world. And after Aristotle, then Galileo, then Copernicus, then Newton, then Einstein. What happened all, in all this uh, development is it has developed from grossness to very, 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 very tactile, very minute, very, uh, very detailed, very dynamic, very flexible science. What is the difference between Newtonian science and the Einsteinian science? It is the uncertainty, the Heisenberg's uncertainty, uncertainty that has given rise to quantum, and that has given rise to the other abstract imagination and the combination of that imagination, combining that, con uh, linking that ima imagination with the reality. And that has brought us to the newest discovery in science, and that is the Higgs boson particle. And that particle, very interestingly, relates to Sunita. Sunita, Sunita in uh, Vajrayana tradition. Someone has asked a question about science relationship between Bajrayana and science. This is a kind of relationship which we can, which we can visualize from, from Bajrayana. There is nothing, but from that nothing, we can get things. Because nothingness and the reality of existence, they, as Surinder Sal has pointed out, they are the interplay of the whole existence. And Higgs boson particle is an example of energy converted into particle. Yes, it has been laboratory, in, in laboratory, it has been converted from energy to particle. Earlier, the conversion was other way, particle converted into energy, and that is the atomic uh, energy. Earlier, that was the part. In the sun, the experimented experiment also brought the other phenomena, energy converted into real particle, which you can you can you can you can, uh, you can identify as a particle. So these these kind of things, which were visualized in the uh, Buddhist. Uh, Buddhism in, in, in the Buddhist philosophy and Buddhist uh, literature and Buddhist uh, you know, uh, thinking way of thinking. So the, the, there are these kind of scope and, and Surinder Sar has brought 
very nicely uh, that, that aspect. And uh, uh, very thankful to Venerable Pianad Berka from Myanmar. Uh, he has so very eloquently brought this Abhidhamma to bring into point the science of mind. I think science of mind is one part which has not developed so fast as in the case of other science, physical science. But Buddha had given the science of mind, the issues, the, the, the core, well, core, core theory or core uh, perception of science of mind. So, 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 so long time ago. So <clears throat> he has brought this aspect and thank you very much. There, there are so, so much scope to dwell into this area and uh, engage the Lumini Buddhist University in the development of the academic, academic you know, research, academic, as well as applied uh, this science of mind for, for, for the benefit of the human being based on Abhidhamma. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much to Nima Sering. Actually, Nima Sering was so uh, so busy last uh, last month, traveling in different parts of Nepal, bringing this soa required medicine to uh, people to make them uh, more you know stronger and and more immune to this coronavirus, and also help those affected by corona to recover from. Uh, this this part quickly actually so I require medicine has been sought so much I think more than uh, ten thousand people they have already distributed this uh, medicine and there are demand for that and we will be uh, developing this kind of uh, medical uh, science in our Lumini University in the future thank you very much for that uh, so uh, very interesting um, discussion today. And uh, thanks for very interesting questions posed by uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Vidyanath Koirala. He is my colleague. We have worked together in Serit. And uh, yes, uh, we were together in the uh, University of Alberta when we were doing PhD. So very uh, interesting question, a very um, thought-provoking question. Thank you very much. And uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for all our friends who has a very interesting question, very uh, deep question, which pulls us to uh, link us for uh, epidemia with real life. And this is a really an opportunity, opportunity for us all to today and move ahead. And uh, by the way, I'm also uh, alumni of American Science College. I was together with Ukesha. We were uh, studying uh, this uh, intermediate in science in uh, Amrit Science College that was in uh, nine, uh, 2000, uh, 2000, uh, Savisa, these are Savisa, 1972, long time ago. And the, when we studied there, Amrit Prasad, he had passed away three years ago. He had passed away three years ago. Uh, but then we felt him present all the time in Amrit Science College. Because he was, the, uh, he was a very eminent scientist of Nepal. He was traveling in the airplane with Bhava uh, uh, of India, the great scientist Bhava, Omi Bhava of India, uh, who is the great scientist of India, who has really um, brought India to this forefront because of Bhava. He was known to our Amit Prasad. And he was traveling to the United States for developing more scientific relationship with United States um, institutions with Nepal to develop that kind of science and technology. Uh, unfortunately, because of the aircraft crash, uh, he, uh, he, 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 he uh, died at that time. And uh, this Amir Science College was uh, actually, it was his brainchild and the land space where this Amir Science College stands, uh, it was brought from his trust, his guti. This is a Pradhan guti, Tamil Pradhan guti, associated with uh, Tamil Bihara, Bikram Sila Mahabihara. 
associated with that Bihar, associated with the Pradhans of Tamil. So he brought that land to Amritsar's college and he also pulled money from many part, many people to, to put up that college. And because of his contribution in the development of science and technology in Nepal, uh, before Saint Amir Science College, there was only one college put up by the government, and then that is Trisana College. And it was felt that Trisana College cannot uh, um, contribute more in bringing <coughs> students and, 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 and bringing out more uh, scientific environment, people with scientific, scientific environment. And that's why this Amir Science College was uh, put up. And the first, the day uh, this first high school was, uh, was, the foundation laid was on Aswing 1. And that's why Aswing 1 is considered as Science Day for Nepal. Although United Nations has also uh, declared Science Day once a year, and that happens to be sometime in November, November 10, I think. November 10 is considered International Science Day. But then each country has uh, put up a day for science. India also, also has uh, one science day. Similarly, we also have science day. And this science day is dedicated to uh, the science college as our very science. Uh, so, <clears throat> remembering the Amrit Science College colleagues and uh, um, the, the, the scientists who have put up their life, the scientists who have contributed in the development of science in Nepal, uh, all those, the uh, very venerable people, very uh, respectable people. Um, I once again thank all the participants who have stayed with us for such a long time. And I uh, guess uh, we are together because we have been talking a very meaningful, very beneficial and very valuable thing, uh, which will take us to new realm of our understanding. And uh, let us also um, think from other way let us, uh, let us dedicate ourselves to bring uh, new thinking, new way of life, new perspective for the whole world, combining science with the spiritual values, with the teachings of Buddha, and, uh, and, and, and also linking our uh, own endeavor with the Eastern philosophy, the philosophy and the way of life of this part of the world. All the Buddhas, all the Bodhisattvas, all the Sadhus, all the Rishis, all the Munis. Respect to them all. I thank one. I thank you once again. Uh, thank you all the commentator. Thank you all the presenter. Thank you all the dignitaries. Thank you. And with this, let's close of this session. And in the sir, Kesa. Ah, uh, sir, sabhi ko rashid diye ko sir, very khushi lagega sir aaj. मलाई त धेरै खुसी लागेको छ मेरो गुरु स्वयं उमानाथ ओली सर पनि यहाँ जोइन गर्नु भएको छ ए 